Looking in immaculate condition, beautiful setting for test cricket. We've got the 40 in the background and everything to play for. The pitch should take a lot of spin. Let's have a look and see what sides have been put together for both these teams. Sri Lankan captain, Sanat Bajari, heading it up. Marvin Adepatu, well, he's the backbone of their batting. New batsman in Kumar Sangakara and Kumar Damasina back in the test team after a two-year break. Mutai Mudalitaran, well, he holds the trump card for Sri Lanka field. South African side, led by Sean Pollock, first test match. Gary Kirsten heading the top of the order. Neil McKenzie, debut player today. And Daryl Cullinan, well, back from an injury. John T. Rhodes, Paul Adams being injured, back in the side to head up the spin with Nicky Boy here. A tough time awaits them in Sri Lanka, I feel. Well, the toss won by son of Jay Surya, and he had no doubt in that he would bat first. Pollock once again into son of Jay Surya. That one in the air between the two gullies and the three slips, or the two slips. That's gone for four. That's the first boundary of the game. No third man in place. So good fortune for Sanat Jayasuriya. Sparring up the delivery outside of stump. Very fortunate that the ball just went into the gap between the two gullies and the slips. The only area where there was a gap and uh, Sanat Jayasuriya picks it with the ball going in the air. So very fortunate for Jayasuriya. Picking up four runs in the process. So he's uh, served cricket very well so far. One cut away hard. Santa Jayasuri in his favourite area. Well, oh, that's the area that Jayasuri revels in. Short, width, and uh, opportunity to free his arms, and he makes full use of it. He said, went very, very quickly to John T. Rhodes. And in the middle of the bat, powerful. Rhodes went down to try and stop it. I think it bounced badly just in front of him. The opposition spinners can use later on in the match. Not easy, though. And that delivery just short outside off stump. And that's the area that Sanat Jayasuriya is looking for. Anything in that area, he is very, very quick to pounce on it. Seven overs, Rankin now 24 for no loss. So the land flag fluttering away, and uh, that was a last shot uh, by Sanat Jayasuriya. A cracking shot on the back foot, short, fairly stretched bat, and uh, beats the offside field. Plenty of open spaces there, but Jayasuriya picks the gap perfectly. That's fast roads. This is a quick outfield. And the ball just reaching the boundary line. So the width offered to Atopadu and he was quick to pounce on it. Atopadu loves it in that square region, very strong in the square region. Ball into his strength there. Just going comfortably right through that one. And all the way down to the boundary. Fielder not giving up the chase, going big effort there, but couldn't get his hands. And the toss decided to bat. In fact, Jayasuri had no hesitation in batting. Lucky John, lucky boy. And over pitched by Pollock there. Shanti Rhodes was the fielder. Now this ball was hit uppishly. And in fact, put down by Rhodes. No wonder the hands were on the heads of Sean Pollock there. For a moment, it, one thought it was a bump ball, but it actually went to him on the full. And by Jaunty Rhodes' standards, he'll be disappointed with that because this was the opportunity. Wickets of the new ball is so important for the South Africans here. That's good shot. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Just a punch down the ground. And once again, the ball will beat the fielder. T20 
teaser here for Neil McKenzie. Oh, Nafakatu didn't try to hit it too hard. He waited for it, waited on it. Speaker really doesn't have much space to come on and really punched it through, didn't follow through it, didn't try to hit it too hard. So 50 test matches for Johnny Rhodes. The other South Africans who achieved that landmark. Sikonia 68, Alan Donald 62, he's not on this trip. Gary Kirsten, he's playing this game. 61 for him, 57 for Cullen. He's playing too. Ah! Now, nothing going South Africa's way. That last boundary really tells the story. Really frustrating for uh, Sean Pollock and South Africa. Slower delivery, well watched by Sanat Jasuri, just guiding it gently down. Very straightforward uh, feeling here, but the awkward bounce right at the end there, waiting engineer. Plenty of drive patches in the outfield, and uh, that's that bad bounce which has uh, done uh, Makaya Antini there. That's a fine shot. Nice way to bring up the 50 on the board for the Sri Lankans. Marvanata Patu there, just easing into the drive. Plays that beautifully, just timing it all the way through, getting the placement perfect. The width and the length was there for him, and he just went through with it. All the way down to the cover boundary. A perfect cover drive from Marvanata Patu, shifting the weight at the right time. 52 runs partnership between Atapatu and Jasuria. Yes, and the worrying thing from the South African point of view is that, that it's come in such good time. That's nicely timed. A chase here for Adams. And this is another teaser. Once again, the ball will win. But it's made the fielder chase the ball all the way to the boundary line. Jasuri really not hitting it too hard, just placing it through, just a punch. And uh, Paul Adams had the uh, you know, felt that he could have uh, got to the ball. But the ball really moving away gradually and uh, reaching the boundary. Yes, uh, Adams won't want to stretch too much, he's uh, back after an injury. And this is a tremendous shot of the back foot. No need to run for that. Consecutive boundaries here for the Sri Lankan captain. Sanaja Surya just getting behind that one and timing it all the way to the boundary. Didn't it too hard? Timed it beautifully. Getting the placement perfect. Right down to the boundary. Very strong on the square. Upside and he's given the room there. And punched it. And three boundaries on the trot. The score motoring along at this stage. 64 for no loss, Sri Lanka. Last over. Shark Callas severely beaten by Sanat Jay Surya. Beautiful shot through the extra cover region. Cut out to stem the flow. It's well driven by Marvin Adepadu, nice and full to him. And straight bat, straight back past the bowler. Classical off drive, and he's in good touch. Oh, that was straight off the textbook, Marvin Adepadu. Classical drive, just leaning it, on, leaning onto it, and um, hitting it into the gap. Everything in place, just see that elbow, and um, there was uh, four runs written from the time it hit the bat. On the very minute, certainly seems to be in very good touch. Not going through with the shot. Well, Sanat Jay Surya in full flow now. Jay Surya brings up his 50 in style. It's a good shot. So good innings by Jay Surya. Runs were not easy to come by, but Jay Surya, as soon as he got into his stride, he's been on a roll. And that time, once again, the width 
the uh, ability to free his hands and he sees the opportunity. A bit of a slice, but um, right through the infielders, taking the aerial route. And when he hits it, it stays hit. Very strong with that bottom hand of his. So that brings Jayasuriya's 50. Well, this one just played away nicely on the ground with soft hands. There's no third man and another boundary. That brings up an important 2,000th run for Marvin Adepadu. So memorable moment for Adepadu. In fact, that shot um, was intentionally played. Soft hands gave it direction and guidance right through the gully and into the gap. There was no third man forcing the boundary. So useful runs for Adepadu bringing his uh, 2,000 runs in uh, international test cricket. And uh, he's now on 27. Very good innings. Marvin Adepatu, well, you'll remember this 2000th run, important test match. And those are the leading run scorers for Sri Lanka. Aravind the Silver right at the top, being dropped from this team. 84 tests, he scored 5,600. And then we look down and see Marvin Adepatu. Well, he comes into the frame now, 2002 he's got. And still betting, so he's got a way to go to the next one. Well, he starts with a dreadful delivery. That's a full toss, almost waist high, outside off stump. And you couldn't ask for anything better than that. It's a bit of an anticlimax. Everyone's waiting to see how the pitch would respond. And uh, Paul Adams disappoints with a full toss, where the, the batsman really puts it away quite easily for four. Well, it's not going to turn much out there, Angel. There's no doubt about it. And as expected, Sanat Jaisaria is going to fetch him early. There's no doubt. He's going to try and dominate him. And he's hitting for four. Second ball. That's two fours in a row. That strategy pretty clear from Sri Lanka. But the intentions absolutely uh, very evident. You could see the Sri Lankans looking to try and pick up as many runs as possible earlier on uh, before the uh, spinners look to try and dominate. Sanat Jaisaria taking the attack to uh, Paul Adams. And uh, he picks up his second boundary with uh, a shot. He launches into uh, orbit wicket. Paul Adams going to have his work cut out here. Jay Surya is going to look to attack him. And he's got that one away as well. That's gone through the extra cover field. And a run away. That's the third boundary in this over. So Paul Adams starts the first three deliveries. And the crowd here, well, they're enjoying this. They love to see Sana Jay Surya. Yes, when Jasuri is in motion, he really motors along. And that one pitched up, and he cracks it into the vacant area, bisecting the fielders. His timing's been very, very good when he's on his stride. Now, Jasuri obviously is going to attack Paul Adams. And, uh, the key is for him now is not to make a mistake. He's done the hard work the first three deliveries. He's probably mentally has the ascendancy right now. What a bit of width off it to run Jay Surya and well any width to Jay Surya and that brings up the hundred partnership. And a well struck boundary. So the runs continue to come for Sri Lanka at a very, very quick pace. Jay Surya pitching into that one. A lot of width. And he frees his arms. So the partnership moving up to 103. And he'll continue. That's another boundary. Overpitched, and Jay Surya is a man in form. He's put that away comfortably. He's moved into the 70s with that shot. The problem that Paul Adam has, he's not set into a good length. He's really been uh, pitching it full or over pitching it for Sana Jay Surya to make full use of it. A batsman in form. Yes, consistency is what's required hard, now from the South African point of view. Too many boundaries have been scored. And that's another one. Now you just can't afford this kind of bowling, especially on the first day of a test match. 19 boundaries have already been struck. And uh, we've not even had lunch on the first day of the test match. Once again, over pitch. Nice, juicy half volley for Sanat Jasuria. Very strong. Right up to the uh, 
front foot and smashed it right down to the boundary. Well, what he's got to decide here is bowl on one side of the wicket. Just get his rhythm going. Yes, he's got to be closer to the off stump. Oh, no! That's better. They go up for the catch here. All the close infielders go up. The umpire isn't interested. 111 for no loss. Some peel for the catch. And going right through. May have to see a bit of deviation right, right at that point. And may have come off the glove. Yes, the glove was very close to the ball. There obviously must have been a sound because uh, the instant reaction of the keeper was to go up. And that, there you see the ball passing on that occasion and you see, really couldn't see from that occasion, but when you see from the other angle, you can see a total deviation of the ball. Boucher very confident pitching and on that point you see. Yes, you can see the deflection there. Surya might just consider himself to be a little lucky. But well, that's a cracking shot of the back foot from Ada Padu. That has a stamp of class written all over it. Good balance, good poise, good placement. Short with a bit of width and made full use by Mamanatha Padu. A few words from Klusner. That's what the scoreboard says. Now that's frustration for the bowlers. He's taken the outside edge, but it's found the gap. There's no third man, so another boundary here for the Sri Lankan captain. We haven't seen uh, an outside edge at all. On that occasion, the ball taking the outside edge between the slip and gully and rolls all the way down to the boundary. Really cutting on that delivery, Sanat Jaisu brought forward. Nice line, nice length. Getting the edge by racing down to the boundary. He's gone after that one. You give him width, and he doesn't mind even taking the aerial route in a test match. That's reached the boundary in a flash. Given the width and the length there for Sanat Jayasuriya, getting under that one and smashing it to the cover region. Placed it well there. He's known to play it up and down there in the one days, but he's going through with it even in the test match. He's in good form. There's one bounce over the rope. One can't help but get the feeling that the South African bowling has lacked the discipline. Runs have come on both sides of the wicket. Too many boundaries hit. And he's now cutting loose here. Once again in the air, but once again he finds the boundary. Three boundaries in this over for Sanat Jayasuriya. He's raced into the 90s. The form that Sanat Jayasuriya is in, it's really not hard. It's not easy for bowlers to uh, really settle down. Anything loose, he really goes smashing it through. That's really not a delivery that would be smashed over the cover boundary for four. It's a landmark of uh, sorts about to be reached here. You don't often see a batsman getting 100 in a session in uh, modern day test match cricket. That's a lovely shot to end the over. Excellent placement and timing. 136 for no loss. So Paul Adams the bowling five dot deliveries and then ending the over with the boundary. Slowly coming back into track, getting his line and length in. Severely punished by Sanat Jayasuriya for some loose deliveries in his previous overs. Now this is the last ball of the previous over. Over pitched. And uh, Atapadu getting the placement dead right. What he's done here is uh, he's got as close to the pitch of the ball as possible. He goes for the single. He'll have to hurry. Surya has reached his 700 in Test match cricket. Superb innings by the Sri Lankan captain. He just dominated the South African bowling in the first session and raced to his 100. Just 103 balls, 17 boundaries.
Well, he took on the fielder here at mid-off. Antini was relaxing a bit on his heels. What an innings from the Sri Lankan captain. That's Apish. And it will reach the boundary. First boundary since lunch. That's the first real time Pollock has pitched the ball up a bit. No half measures with the Sri Lankan captain. Just a little bit of width there for Sana Jasuri, and he really latches onto that one as he saw the width, went under it, over and out. Over the cover filler and brings him a boundary. Pollock really not too pleased about that delivery. He realized that he really strayed a bit there. Now oh, that spanked of the back foot. Rhodes is there in the deep. And even he can't stop it. So he's having a torrid time out there, Jaunty Rhodes. He does seem to be in a little bit of discomfort. A good shot here by Jay Surya. Again, standing up tall. Good balance when he played it. Nice timing by Sanat Jay Surya. Didn't have much to really play around with that from a Jaunty Rhodes not being able to... And a bit of width off it to Marvin Adepatu, and he's on to it in a flash. And it'll run away for four. Well played, but not quite convincing. Didn't get it on the beat of the bat. So Marvin Adepatu, another fine half century for him. He certainly has uh, been quite a foil for Sanajaya Surya, so getting it right into the gap. It's not much of a gap there, but he finds it. And uh, that again is a fine innings by him. It's a good innings there from Marvin Adepetto, and you're right, he forms the perfect foil for an attacking Jai Surya. And they've set a perfect platform. And Boyer gets it up to Jai Surya, and I always felt it was a matter of time. As soon as he got it in third area, Jai Surya was going to have a go at it, and he's hit it well. This is why Jai Surya is always so threatening. Boyer this time, showing some guts, giving the ball a little bit of air, but Jai Surya equal to the task, hitting it straight over the bowler's head. And he's quite prepared to take the aerial route whenever the opportunity presents. It's a very difficult to defend. And there's nobody back. He gets up there. He's prepared to throw the bat at it. And down he goes again. This one is hit harder and flatter. And one bounce into the boundary boards. Well, Jay Surya certainly decided it's time. He's not going to allow Boya to dictate any terms. So Jay Surya, after a quiet start after lunch, looking to break free again. This time bombarding the boundaries. When he's into the act, he certainly is on a roll. And once again, some width offered to Marvin Adepatu. Puts it away. Another four. And Sri Lanka now move to 185 for no loss. The last ball of the over. Marvin Adepatu gives it a full wind-up. It goes way, way over. Doesn't hang back. Full flow of the arms. It was short and wide. Place not to bowl on the subcontinent. So a change in bowling now. We're going to have Paul Adams. He's back into the attack. Replaces Nicky Boyer. And immediately... Jay Surya, well, just past Paul Adams. And Jay Surya prepared to take him on. That's gone for four. Also, Jasuri is always prepared to take Paul Adams on. The intentions are very clear. There's no doubt that Jasuri is prepared to use his feet, go over the top whenever Paul Adams at the crease. Once again, coming down and then hitting it slightly uppishly in the air. Paul Adams, a valiant effort, but to no avail. Well, he's not going to let him settle, is Jasuri? He's going to go after him from ball one. Again, a bit of width off it, and he's hit it straight to Gully. And a great catch by Nicky Boy here. That's a sharp chance, and that's the end of Marvin Adepatu. 
So Mahavan Atapati, the first wicket of Sri Lankan wicket goes. Short delivery out the door of Stam. Mahavan Atapati attempted to square cut straight to Boyer. Fine catch, sharp chance, and a big wicket for South Africa. They've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Mahavan Atapati goes, caught by Boyer and Tazgali, off in Tini, and Sri Lanka lose their first wicket for 193. Well, the wicket to go down, Marvin Adepatu cuts it hard, Nicky Buya is in position and Makai Antini has made the breakthrough and he's certainly a happy man. You could see Antini's uh, frustrations coming out there. He's certainly delighted as um, Boyer picks that very, very good catch. It really flew to him and Russell Arnold. He's um, got a, quite an impressive uh, career record in a short career. 19 matches, got 200s and 450s. Well, a big shot here from Makai Antini and the rest of the team behind. And I fancy that, well, when you come back, it's 193 for one. And Jay Saria goes for the big one. He's hit in the middle, and that's gone over the deep mid wicket's head. It's gone all the way. And six more. So Jay is not going to be kept quiet for long. Wax that one, all mid wicket. And it hits the meat of the bat. There's a man down on the line, but that's cleared him for six. Well, when Jason Rea hits it in the middle of the bat, it stays hit. It goes with the wind. Surya sweeping and sweeping extremely well. Just has this uh, happy knack of picking up the gaps. Quickly picking up the length there, son of Jason and going through with this with the shot. Just getting the gap right there. Wide the fielder down there. Two fielders down in there. We're still attacking. Still attacking on the onside. That's the second time he's found the boundary in the over with a similar shot. Adams giving the air. Sanat Jasri making full use of that length and going through sweeping well. Picking the gap, there's a fielder down at the backward square and the one in the mid wicket. But he picks the gap and all the way down to the line. Yes, this is a very good shot because there's a man near the empire at square leg. So he's got to clear him. He's got to place it away from the man in the deep. He's done that too. And again, this is up in the air. He could be out caught here. And Jair Surya's innings has come to an end. He's taken on Adams once too often. Mackenzie making no mistake in the deep. And a fantastic innings from the Sri Lankan captain comes to an end. 148 of just 156 balls. Paul Adams still giving that extra bit of air on that occasion, a bit from the off, the off stump. And then he's very pleased with his uh, performance. Sanat Jusuria gone. 148, Sri Lanka 211 for two. So Mahila Jaivardhana comes out to the center. Sri Lanka have just lost their second wicket. 22 matches for him. 242 against the Indians is best. Jay Surya dismissed in the last over from uh, Paul Adams. In fact, he still hasn't finished his over. Getting a top edge here. Education Paul Adams are delivering from behind the wicket and holding it back a bit. And Sanat Jay Surya. Trying to drag it from out to the off stump, I not getting enough bat onto that one. And well, Mackenzie doing that a that good guy. job. Watched it all the way, pouched it, and held on to it. Adams continuing. Ah, Up they go for the chance here, and this time the finger goes up. So Boucher is rewarded with a catch. The ball obviously taking the glove of Russell Arnold. He doesn't seem to be too happy. There was an appeal earlier against Jay Surya that didn't go South Africa's way, but not this time. Another wicket here for Paul Adams. Umpire Peter Manuel convinced that they get the glove or the bat. Arnold sweeps. And really, really passed the bat before. And Boucher convinced and gets the positive from the umpire. Russell Arnold not pleased. Russell Arnold gone for five. Sri Lanka 216 for three. So Kumar Sangakara comes out to play his first test match here. And the reason why he's here is because Russell Arnold was dismissed a little while earlier. 
really see if there's any noise there. And uh, really see any deviation as such. The ball did carry its line. But umpire Peter Manuel convinced that it did get the glove. Russell Arnold with a wry smile. Boucher pleased. He would consider himself a little unfortunate. Now that's put away by Jai Vardana. Short delivery from Adams. And it gets the treatment. 221 for three. Again, Upish. He might just think of uh, having a man at forward short leg here. Sangakara not sure of himself. And then just lobbing it up there. That's the second occasion. And as Ravi said, the fielder comes in now. Sri Lankan lineup since lunch. Short and wide, cut away, run away for four. Not good fielding again from South Africa. Makayantini diving over the top of it. These are important runs now. Every run's important, but certainly on this pitch, yes, he dived right over the top of it. Antini seems to be having a few problems, uh, particularly on the field. And uh, once again, the bounce not quite there, not getting right behind. Good attempt though. This one short and pulled away over mid-wicket. Bounces and runs away. Well, the pressure just being released now. Javadan looking to break free. Once again, a short delivery from uh, Paul Adams. Just the right height to bounce and uh, Javadan are pouncing it on very quickly, hitting it over the short mid wicket he's got his timing right as well yes, yes, yes. Well, that delivery hits straight to sean pollock he goes down and it's gone right through him it'll run all the way and that's for sean pollock he wouldn't be very happy with himself and uh, that again shows the rather Poor fielding the South Africans have been putting up on and off and right through Sean Pollock. He's not been able to cover the gap. Well, he just left a little hole there and uh, it's basic. And a lot of flight there from Adams. Over pitched and through the cover. Good start for the Sri Lankan batsman. Maira Jaiwardhan are getting the placement right, timing right on that occasion between the extra cover and the cover fielder. Got enough time to look at that one, picking the length and getting the placement right, really angling it and all the way down to the mouth. Sankar is on nine, he hasn't looked comfortable against Adams. And he's down the wicket with confidence and he belts that over the top. And that is a good shot, almost a get out of jail shot I feel. He's really not too sure. That's uh, almost on desperation. He came down, try and get on top of the bowler. And uh, it was there to be hit, and he went right through with it. And there's a sharp chance. Is that a catch? Well, Adams on this occasion bringing uh, Mahala Jawad on a forward. The one turning away from the right hander, getting the edge. That's uh, we put it down as a chance. I'm not sure he'll be looking to be brought on soon. And well, this one, not a good delivery from Adams. Full toss, smacked over deep mid wicket. That's six. That's maximum. Nicely up there, and manager Wardner picking it nicely and sending it over the long on region for a six making full use of that watched it all the way yes i thought it was a full toss initially but it wasn't he picked it up against the spin which is and a big drive from jay wadena finds the outside edge that's gone away it'll run away quickly for four well adams will uh, be a bit disappointed with that one really a good delivery 
getting the outside edge of Mahala Jayawardena. The ball spinning away and getting the outside edge, running really fine. He had not been able to get to the pitch of that one. Playing away from his body, getting the outside edge. Drive that, but straight to the fielder. And this one short again from Adams, pulled away. And that's into the boundary. It went very quickly. Jay Wardner picks it up very, very quickly. A short, a quick, that's a drive there. Feel it there by the... And the next delivery was a short one, which Mahala Jay Wardner quickly pounced on that one. Bit of extra bounce for him to go through with it. Point. Well, that's a tremendous shot. He's a free scoring player, Jay Wardner. He doesn't allow the pressure to get to him. Good cover drive there. And runs coming freely here for the Sri Lankans after T. So Jawadhar using all his flair. He's certainly a player of the future. When he's in on his stride, certainly can be devastating. Easing himself into that shot. Perfectly played. Again, a tremendous shot. He's once again found the gap. Nicky Boy there just getting his hands to it and uh, pulling it back inside the boundary line. But Jayavardhana has reached his 50 here. A good entertaining knock from him. 286 for three. Now that's a crashing shot of the back foot. That'll go to the boundary. Once again, he's uh, so quick to pick the length up. When it's over pitched, he's driven the ball. When it's slightly short, he's used the crease well, rocked back onto the back foot, and good balance there. The runs piling away for Jayawardhana and for Sri Lanka. Just see the use of feet, the use of the crease, putting on, right back and just punching it through. Well, he's gone after that one and found the gap. This might just reach the boundary. In fact, it's crossed the boundary line now. Just got the feeling that it was hit a little uppishly by Sangakara, but he went after that one moment he saw the width. This really has been the trouble with the South African bowling. The bowled um, four tight dot deliveries, and then um, the loose one, just to free the batsman's arms. And uh, the Sri Lankans have been taking advantage of it. Slightly uppish, but in the gap as well. Uh, in the field too for the South African fielders. That's right to the pass. That's going to be close. The finger has gone up here. That always looked out. The only decision the umpire had to make was was he struck outside the line of the stumps. But Sangakara deceived in the flight, and Boyer has picked up a wicket. Clever bowling by Boyer. Uh, Sangakara playing the penalty for a little bit uh, of being over cautious. Playing back to a fully pitched up delivery and uh, paying the penalty. And up goes Zampa Harper's finger. And uh, that again is a big wicket for South Africa. Sangakara is out. LBW to Boya. He's gone for 23, 297 for four. So Arjuna Ranatunga comes out to the center in his final series for Sri Lanka. 91 matches. Close to 5,000 runs in the game. 36 50s. 400s. He'd like to end his test match career in style. And he's here because uh, Sangakara was dismissed a little while earlier. Well, Sangakara, he's uh, pushed back by Boye and uh, very adjacent to the stumps. And uh, one might uh, say, having a look at that, uh, he might consider himself lucky, but the umpire certainly uh, sees it differently. Boy. Yes, he was beaten all ends up. The umpire doesn't have the mat. What the umpire has decided there that uh, that's going to hit the off stump. Now, from the angle boy was bowling, that seemed likely. And that's the reason why the finger went up. And Jay Wadina down the wicket. Well, he hits that over, extra cover. A wideish mid off. Shows a lot of confidence. Good use of feet. Giving himself nice room, getting inside that delivery and over the extra cover. So inside out, it's well timed. Really got 
really onto the pitch of that one and went right through with it. Almost a premeditated shot. Showing a lot of confidence to come down the wicket. Turning. Oh, what a flight from Bahia and Ranatunga goes after it. He finds the gap, doesn't middle it. And, and it's well fielded by Pollock again. And Ranatunga's got another three. So that's the third three for Arjuna Ranatunga running hard. Ranatunga doesn't get hold of it, leans back on it, finds the gap, and it's tagged down by Sean Pollock. He does well. Yes, he does. Just pulls it back just before it gets over that rope. It's a good commitment there. Starts with a full toss, and I think he's hit it to Sean Pollock. Well, has he caught it? Yes, he says he's caught it. Ajuna Ranatunga stands. The umpires, well, they've given him out. And South Africa take another wicket. Paul Adams has struck. First delivery. And Paul Adams straight off. Full toss, and straight to a very good effort there by the captain. Getting his, wrapping his hands under that one to get rid of uh, Arjuna Ranatunga. That is a good catch by Sean Pollock. Moved forward, he's a tall man, and he's a fast bowler, he must be tired. End of Ranatunga, 13, and Sri Lanka now 318 for five. Well, the new batsman in Kumar Dharmasena, he's played 22 tests, useful all rounder, 672 runs, and he'll be facing. Paul Adams. Oh! Dharmasena, not sure where that's gone. He won't have faced Paul Adams. Trying to work that down to the onside, but spinning and going away from Dharmasena, getting the outside edge. Lucky he didn't go in the air, just rolled down. The pulled away. He's got hold of that one, Jay Vardana. And that's race to the boundary. Short delivery from Pollock. When Man attempts to test the bounce of this pitch, uh, it's at your peril. Ball really not coming on and easy ping is for uh, Jay Vardana. He's very quickly into position and um, ball just at the right height to pull away. As he's pulled it literally off the front foot. So the last over of the day coming up. And Jay Vardana has thrashed the first delivery to the point boundary. Once again, he's picked up the length quickly and that was literally played off the front foot. Once again, going to show what a talented player he is. Demonstrates that he's been able to uh, pick up the length very quickly and uh, put it away even when it comes to the last over of the day. gone past the outside edge the fielders go up but I think the problem here is the ball did take the outside edge but it's bounced before it's gone to Boucher well, let's have a look at it again that's an interesting shout and just keep a eye on the toe of uh, Jawadana's bat oh that hit the ground the bat hit the ground and uh, there was a little bit of daylight between the bat uh, outside edge and the ball Yes, uh, one got the feeling that it might have gone into the ground. That was the indication by the umpire. But the clear case of the bat hitting the ground, so good decision. In fact, a very good decision because don't forget, this is the last over of the day. Concentration level for an umpire has to be not at its highest at the moment. Won't be at its highest, but he's concentrated well here. A very good decision, my umpire, Peter Manuel. Umpires. Um, have to be given a lot of credit um, in situations such as this. Well, that's the batting. Atipatu, he had a good start, 54. Jay Surya, 148. He really dominated. Jay Wardina's not out, 78. And Damasina's with him on four. And the end of that innings today, 341 for five. They bowl three extra overs. 
a tough day for South Africa. Partnerships, well, opening partnership, Marvin Adepatu and Jaya Surya, uh, 193, and the second big partnership, 81 between Jay Wardena and Sangakara. And the bowling figures, well, Sean Pollock, he toiled, didn't get a wicket. Adams got three for 122, and Nicky Boyer got the one. Matini got one for his efforts. So all in all, a really, really tough day for South Africa. And there's no doubt that tomorrow will be a better day for one of the sides. They leave here, Sri Lanka do, really with the upper hand, and let South Africa uh, with their backs to the wall. Let's see you tomorrow. 20 past 10 we start. Look forward to seeing you then. Up the play, it's callous bowling. Let's have a look and see what happens. Yeah. Having a plan. I think it was missing. Yes, this is where Hansi Kronia was so good, especially on the tour of India. Often when partnerships were going on, he ensured that the game was slowed down a bit. The advantage he had was he could bowl himself, so he could come in and bowl five or six overs and chip in with a couple of wickets. But it's still early days in the captaincy career of Sean Pollock. He'll learn. Off the hands. That's edged and taken. Klusner making no mistake at third slip. And this is good bowling by Pollock. He drew Dharmasena wide for the drive, got the outside edge, and uh, South Africa have struck early here. They certainly have the wicket they needed, and it's gone to third slip against all our predictions. Old Mother Cricket, that's a good catch from Klusner, ever so easy. Dharmasena just pushing it one outside off stump. Pollock really happy and just a breakthrough the South Africans needed this morning. Dharmasena, he's out for four. And Sri Lanka now 341 for six. So the local boy Upul Chandana comes out to the center. 27 years of age. 55 runs uh, in his test match career. No great pretensions with the bat, but he's uh, contributed usefully in one-day cricket. 28 against Pakistan is best. He's up against the South African captain, who's picked up his first wicket. Thermosena, hey. the man to be dismissed a little while hey. earlier. Thermosena just sparring at one, a little bit too wide outside off. Klusner making absolutely no mistake. Straight in, nonchalant, very simple catch. Pollock's maintained a good line outside of Stump this morning's. It's uh, probably the strategy they've talked about. To keep it out there with the new ball. Be patient. Yes, be patient because uh, one got the feeling they were trying to pick up wickets with uh, almost every delivery. That's put away. Plenty of width on that occasion. Jay Vardhan, I really had to stretch out to reach that one. His delivery very wide from Callis and short. Not the place to bowl. And that's easily put away in the gap. Jay Vardhan, he's a good player when the ball's poorly bowled. That's uh, Sean Pollock again, starting his fourth. That's nicely cut away into the gap. Short ball outside off stump, not very well bowled. So uh, down to the boundary for four, umpire Harper there signalling the four. Just watch the shot again, this is not a good delivery, short, it's a slowish pitch. And that, uh, that certainly was asking for a bit of trouble. Chandana, have a look at him in the air as he cuts away down towards the boundary. straight down the ground beautiful straight drive that's a lovely shot that'll go to the boundary for four this outfield is pretty quick it's quite dry that one over pitched and uh, a very aggressive straight drive lovely shot Jai Wadhana moves to 89 it's a lovely shot by Jai Wadhana there um, doesn't have much foot movement uh, but still gets away going forward and he's, once he gets through the gap in this field it's, it's four
Mahela Jaiwadana, 89, and looking as solid as a rock. Just uh, looking at a breakdown of his um, run so far, you can see that uh, he's pretty strong on the offside through there. Six fours, that's 32 on the offside. Three fours and a six through mid-wicket. He's also pretty good on short deliveries, plays it well. He's actually a good all-round player. A lot of his runs in front of the wicket there, very little down to third man and fine leg. That can be a factor of uh, where the bowling... Oh, there's a big appeal there for caught behind. All up in the air. Callis reckons he's got him. The umpire says no. Callis is very upset. Well, the South Africans can't believe this. Uh, it looked to me the reaction there of Jai Wadhana was... Correction, it's Chandana, was simply to turn around and uh, not take... Jai Wadhana, sorry, to turn around and not take any notice. We'll come back and have a look at it in a moment. 360 for six. This should tell us something. Here we are. This is the close-up. Short delivery down the leg side. Now then, let's slow this down. Ooh, now, I don't think so. I think that may have hit the pocket. It, I think it hit the pocket. You can see the pocket move, and the ball goes under the gloves, hits the pocket, and then through to the keeper. So a very good decision in my book. And even if there was a tiny flick on the gloves there, there's no way in the world any umpire could have given it from his angle. This is a better angle. Oh, there we are. Look, no doubt about it. That's a wonderful decision. Very, very good decision. The spontaneous appeal there by the South Africans created because of that tiny little noise off the pocket of Jai Wadana. So some good uh, camera work there, picking up exactly what happened. Yeah, it was a very good decision, I think. But I would like to say that here we have a much closer look at it. And uh, the slow-mo just highlights how difficult it is to be an umpire. Everything so close together there, the thigh pad, gloves, ball. But uh, it seems like this, this time the umpire's made the correct decision. There we go. Seems like he's just flicked the hip pocket and a good decision. Ten being an umpire when you retire. Oh, that's blasted through the offside field. Short outside off stump. And Tini has got to keep it up a little bit. The cut shot will be used here at random. Lovely shot through square of the wicket for four. That just relieves the pressure a little bit for the batsman. Yeah, this is short and wide for Makaya. And uh, a lot of pressure has been built up over the last sort of, uh, since the start of play. And uh, the Sri Lankan batsman will be looking to take advantage of this bowling change. That's a poor delivery for Makaya. And uh, Jayadina puts it away quite comfortably. Hold this out, court slip, court slip. That's well bowled by Callis, much better bowling, well pitched up, that one's swinging away, and that is the end of Chandana. Caught there by Cullen at slip, that ball moving away in the air. Chandana, just a little shake of the head there, he went after this one, a drive, you can see it swing away, big deflection there, nicely taken too, watch him watch that one right into those safe hands of his, Darrell Cullen and making the catch. This is turning out to be a decidedly better day for the South Africans, Chandana. Caught by Cullen off the bowling of Callis for eight. And the score now moves on to 365 for seven. Chamin Devas is the new batsman. He's 26 years of age, quite a lot of experience. 41 test matches under his belt already. And uh, an average of 18.2. He's uh, something of an all-rounder, Chamin Devas. I, I think that uh, he's probably a bowling all-rounder. And uh, is trying very hard to develop his batting. Bowls left-handed, bats left-handed, and is a stroke maker. So he'll be looking forward to this. Now he's out there because of this dismissal. Uh, full way swing, I suppose you could almost call it a half body. But Jake Jocks has been, been uh, threatening to do that all morning. He's got a good shape on his deliveries and a uh, tidy catch by Dale Cullen. Yes, full uh, wide off volley. You did right. They get wickets, those full wide off volleys. Uh, there's no doubt about that. If you've got two or three slips in place, new batsman, sometimes not a bad idea. Well, there's one of the coolest customers in world cricket. One of uh, modern cricket's best captains. And um, one of the, the heroes of uh, Sri Lankan cricket in recent years. Uh, in my view, he and Aravinda de Silva, largely responsible for the lofted, or the lofty heights that uh, Sri Lankan cricket have uh, attained in recent times. And of course, the news from um, this part of the world is uh, that man, Arjuna Ranatunga, has decided to pack it all up at the end of the series. What a tremendous career he's had. He will be remembered for a long time. 
Looking nice and casual again. Didn't make any runs uh, to speak of. Out for 13 or 16 balls. It's been a wonderful cricketer. But oh, it's spin time. I'm not really uh, all that keen on making too many assessments of uh, batsmen until such time as they've been through a bad time. Nice and straight. Played down the ground. He's going for one. Will they come back for the second? I think they probably will. Vice will turn and come back. That's a century to Mahalo Jaiwadana. His third test century. Beautifully played. And boy, what a comeback this has been for him. He's had a tough time of it with the bat. A very good young player. He loves this ground ball. His second century here following his 167 against New Zealand back in the season of 97-98. Well played, says Jamin DeVos, and he's dead right. Yeah, it was a really good 100 that. Uh, quite interesting to compare the two 100s between Jastri and Jai Wardner. Um, very, very much more conservative and uh, technically correct. And uh, yeah, punching it down the ground for two. Nice straight bat. It's got to be a very nice feeling now you've got your 100 safely in the bag and running through for your second run. Yes, there we are. There's the acknowledgement of the applause the way test matches. It's quite often the case, though. Touring is not easy when you first start this game. Oh, he's hit that one through the offside field. That's four. That's beautifully driven through the offside for four. Slightly over pitched. He's a lovely stroke maker. Another four to the total and uh, that makes it 15 boundaries to Mahela Jawadana. There's the cover drive again. Fast outfield. Right off the middle of the bat. Classical shot. Yes, over pitch from Makai. He's got his length a little bit mixed up today. Either too short or too full. And uh, Jawadana puts that away cut very easily. Bad. And this one played away beautifully by Vast. Back with a point. Just used the pace of Antini and the angle. Really nice shot from Shimon de Vaas. We've seen the development of Vaas's batting in recent times. A lot of self-belief and nicely put away. Waited on it and uh, gave it direction. This is certainly quite useful for Sri Lanka to find Vaas uh, developing in his batting getting himself into the class of an all-rounder. No! Played in the air. It's gone down to a vacant third man. Brings up another four. The run's coming for Sri Lanka in a fairly uh, useful fashion. Open spaces on the offside and as soon as it gets into the gap, without a third man protecting it, there's always runs. It's a full ball. It's half volley and he puts it away. Here's a good shot from Shimon Devas to bring it into the over. And Sri Lanka now 401 for seven. So that was a beautiful shot by Shimon Devas. Coming in at uh, where he's batting. Sri Lankans uh, certainly a luxury of uh, talent around that area. Last ball of the last over. Over pitched on the off stump. Shimon Devas makes no mistake. See how full it is. Really, really right next to his foot there. And that one hit on the up. And it's gone through for four. Gone back with point. It's another four. The run's coming thick and fast now for Sri Lanka. The Sri Lankan certainly bombarding the boundaries now. Runs coming in all directions. And uh, once again, that vacant area in at third man. So the South Africans need to pluck these uh, areas where the runs have been uh, getting through. And down the wicket he comes and straight back over the bowler's head. It's the place to hit him. It's gone all the way. That's a maximum. You could see the Sri Lankan strategy very evident as soon as they realized that there's a spin in operation looking to take the spinner on and uh, Jayawadhan once again the quick use of the feet and uh, that really is a key facet about playing spin 
getting up to the pitch of it and uh, hitting it straight to the line and right over the boundary. Is Mahela Jawarina putting pressure on the spinner immediately? Second hundred on this ground. He's found the gap on the offside. That will race away to the boundary. Slightly short and uh, he's in such good form at the moment, especially against the spinners, that he's put that one away quite easily. Getting the punishment in required. Mahela Jawarina quickly giving himself a bit of room. He's been doing that this morning. Anything loose has been punished severely by Mahela Jawarina. The right approach, taken the aggressive one. Taking Sri Lanka into a totally dominating uh, position here. In fact, it's not only South Africa, it's overall. And I think they've achieved the target now. So, records tumbling here. And another session where over 100 runs have been scored. It's a big boost for the Sri Lankans. The bowlers up in the pavilion. That's where the uh, record partnership for Sri Lanka. Seventh. Between Mahala Jawadhan and Chamin Nawaz. So really... And a short delivery pulled away. It's another bad ball by Adams. Bounces once, twice into the boundary boards. Jawadina gets onto that bad ball very quickly. He's really not let off anything that has to be punished. Really rocking back and pulling it well down to the mid wicket region. He's quickly onto that one. In good form, very confident. Yes, the problem on these slow wickets, if you do pitch it short, it just sits up slowly and waits for you to hit it. Tony's? No, it isn't. It's supporters for Sri Lanka. Well, he's gone over the top. And that's gone away for four. The over Sri Lanka 458 for seven. That occasion, um, really not getting hold of it, but uh, enough bat on it to clear the mid on fielder. How about it? And he's bowling a short delivery. Shimon Devas has got onto it, he's pulled it away. And those are the first runs off Lance Klusner in his third over in the spell. Sri Lanka 462 for seven. You Jay Wardena, it was the short ball, last over, Shimon Devas onto it very quickly. He likes to get on the hook, South Africans seem to know that, he got a man three quarters, but he hit well. Oh, get the carry, carry, carry! Well, that one's in the gap, and uh, Jay Wardena, well, he moves on to 150. That's a good milestone, and that's his captain, he's happy with the performance. I'm sure Jay Wardena, you remember that. Very important 150, putting the Sri Lankans right on top. A very good effort by Mahala Jayawardena. He's cut that away, that'll be four. Adams drops it short. Jayawardena gives himself room, it's a beautiful shot. And that brings up the 200 partnership as well. 100 partnerships, did I say correction? It's off 160 balls. End of the over, 468 for seven. Paul Adams dropping it short. Jai Wardner giving himself room, cuts it away. It's a good shot by Jai Wardner, he's played it well. Very good effort between uh, Tommy Dawas and Mahela Jai Wardner. Partnership of 103 runs in 160 balls. Jai Wardner, the main contributor, Vaas there though, confidently. It's 33 from Vaas, 61 from Mahala Jawadana has really dominated this partnership. So the Jawadana vast partnership now 105. It's really, really put the cap on the innings for the Sri Lankans. It's Paul Adams to continue again. Still bowling to Jawadana. No one short. It's pulled away. It's going to go all the way for four. He places it nicely. Come on, Greg, come on boy, huh? Again, very short by Paul Adams and quickly 
That's done to it by uh, Mahela Jayawad and enough time to get his placement right down to the boundary. But really looking at the South African approach to this after lunch, it really look, doesn't look as if they want a wicket. They're just letting things drift along. Always hit that one across the line, down towards the boundary in mid-wicket. Jai Wadana is starting to lift the run rate a little bit now. This uh, wasn't his most elegant shot, but it's gone to the boundary. So no respect at all, even for Sean Pollock. Total contempt. And uh, Jai Wadana is really going after him. Yeah, so that takes him on to 167. That's what he made uh, on this ground uh, against New Zealand back in 97 98. 167. Oh, that's out. Caught behind. Yes, that's it. Pollock's got him. At last, he's got the man he wanted. 167 again. That's twice now that Jai Wadhana has scored 167 on this ground. Sean Pollock has taken the wicket. And that will be a great relief for the South Africans. This is the way it happened. Slowish off cutter and a thick edge. So Sean Pollock finally deceiving Jawadhan. A thick edge and Jawadhan deceived by the pace. And Boucher gleefully gets onto that catch. So Mahala Jawadhan, a fine innings of 167 coming to an end. Sri Lanka lose their eighth wicket for 482. The lanky Nuon Zoysa. Young fast bowler in this lineup. Uh, he's uh, got an average of just over nine. So far, just 12 test matches. He's had a checkered uh, time of it because uh, he doesn't put many test matches back to back. This is why he's there. Yes, there was a sense of urgency in uh, Mahala Javadhan's batting. The Sri Lankans are uh, no doubt looking to try and um, add momentum to the innings now and uh, was uh, deceived by that slow delivery from Sean Pollock. And uh, that really uh, saw the end to that fine innings. Well, that one's played away on the onside and it's running away down towards the boundary that's more like it that's a short delivery hit away nicely by uh, Zoysa into the fence it goes so Zoysa is off the mark he's faced 12 deliveries now and got himself a boundary that indeed was nicely picked by Zoysa the wrong one from Paul Adams waited on it and uh, he did rather uppishly away from the uh, diving yeah, boy, fielder boy, boy. there was plenty of space for him there so he gets off the mark one mustn't forget he's a part-time off-spinner. Oh, that's flicked away. Pass mid-wicket. That's a good shot from Zoysa. We saw him play that shot against Adams. He's done that now against Cullinan. So the 500 coming up here for Sri Lanka. Zoysa so getting nice and tall and upright there and forcing it off his hips. In the baseman right. Shot from uh, Cullinan. Nice swing of the bat. Get and it. he's gone for the big one. He could be out caught here. Cullinan going after it and he's taken it. So wicket in his first over. Nice teasing flight there from Cullinan. Zoysa has perished. He went for the big hit. And Sri Lanka have lost their ninth wicket. Come on, Zoysa trying to have a big go at that one. Not getting the bat at all. The edge. And Cullinan keeping his eyes on it, going back and making sure he takes it himself. South Africa getting rid of a nuance choice of a 10. 500 for 9. So 501 for 9. The last man to be dismissed, Zoysa. Looking for the big one of Daryl Cullinan. Not quite getting hold of it, getting the leading edge and a good catch here running back. So wicket in his first over. Well, that's a crashing shot through the offside. Over pitched and he's hammered that to the cover boundary. With there, the length right for Tommy the Wash to go through with it. Nice swing of the bat. And straight down to the cover boundary. That's a problem with the South Africans today, especially Adams. Without. That's nicely swept square. And Tini will not cut it off. And again, disappointing that feeling. 
South Africans normally set very high standards, but they'll be disappointed with this effort. And the bars getting good him on a bat on that one, but Intini should have really brought that back. He really overran it, not keeping his eyes on the ball. Really at that point, he had overrun the whole thing. That's 50 for Was. It's 450 in Test match cricket, and this is a good effort because he has the talent to be an all-rounder. Plenty of natural ability as a batsman, and this is a good effort. Six boundaries. He's batted a long time. Very good support and a very good stand with uh, Mahala Jawadana, and he deserves this. 50 has really worked hard for it. Well pleased with himself. Right, right. He scored one run. Well, that's smashed through the offside field. That should get to the boundary. Lovely shot for four. Four more to Tamindavas. It takes him on to 54. Well, an over pitch delivery from Paul Adams. Tamindavas is in good form now and good touch. He's not wasting it. Osmalim, that's it. That's the end of Chamindavas and a wicket for Pollock. 30.3 overs, 2 for 73. And, uh, well, the last man out happens to be Chamindavas. Out bowled by Pollock. Pollock ending up with 3 for 73 with this wicket. The ball pitching around about middle, just nipping back a little bit. Back goes the leg stump. Vass deciding to go for it. Well, that's the end of a fantastic performance by the Sri Lankans. Voss getting out for 54 at the end of the day, bowled by Pollock. And, uh, well, he'd be pretty happy with his performance here today. He certainly will. Take chances his arm down the wicket and just misses the straight one while he played well. He really did. Very good contribution. He has the ability to be an all-rounder, there's no doubt about it. Sherman the Voss. Yes, well, this is going to be a nasty little session now for the South Africans, having spent all that time uh, in the field, getting a little bit of encouragement there from the support staff. And uh, that one just straightening down the line, hitting leg stump. Sri Lanka ending up getting 522. That's what they would have expected once they won the toss, decided to bat. 148 for Jay Surya, 167 for Mahila Jayawardana. He was the real star of the day today. 54, good contribution by Was there towards the end. The good thing for Sri Lanka was that they had some good partnerships going for them. Superb opening partnership, 193 between Atapattu and Jay Surya. Then another good one between Jay Vardhana and Sangakara. They added 81. And then uh, the partnership between Vaas and Jay Vardhana, 117. South African bowlers, well, they had to toil really hard here. Pollock bowled uh, a good spell here today. Good line. He picked up all his three wickets today, three for 73. Adams, three wickets for him, but very expensive, especially when you consider this track had consistent turn. And Nicky Boy just got the feeling that uh, he was underused a bit, 22 overs, one for 72. Players now taking the field after tea. It's time to join our commentators. Tony Gregg is there with Pat Simcoe. He is the more experienced of the openers, but uh, that's what happens. Good luck if you uh, make a lot of runs in the uh, match leading up to the big one. Well, good shot. Nice drive through the offside. That's four overpitched and uh, a lovely cover drive well that will certainly give him a lot of confidence so Mackenzie moves on to five and it's six for none that was a real beauty by Mackenzie just uh, getting on the front foot and uh, punching right through and that was uh, the last shot by Mackenzie everything in place and that would have given a great deal of confidence That's turned around the corner. That's a loose delivery. And Kirsten's just used the pace here to get a boundary. Well, the ball's still hard. And, uh, it comes on pretty quickly. Kirsten yeah. picks it off well. It's a bet on it. Pace the Domasino bowling. 
It's a bit of a freak, uh, that Jai Surya when he gets going. Oh, that's, uh, he's bowled him, he's bowled him. That one's come back and bowled him through the gate. Now, that's one of the things you've got to be very careful of with Murali Duran. If you play forward outside off stump and you push at the ball a little bit, you leave a little bit of a gate, and I think that may have either sneaked through the gate or hit the inside edge and uh, got dragged back onto the stumps. This will be interesting. Yeah, and if we have a look, uh, just seem to get a little touch on that, and it squeezes back and runs onto the stumps. You know, having a look at the one-day games when we played against him, I know in the final I got bowled by him as well through the gate, and uh, pretty much the same. Right, well, there we are, McKenzie, the first to go. Moodley didn't uh, into the action, didn't take him too long, and uh, McKenzie out for 11. South Africa now 25 for one as drinks come out onto the ground. Mathia Moodley Duran. He's got a wicket, one for two already, and uh, Jacques Cullis is the new batsman. He's uh, played in 37 test matches, scored over 2,000 runs, and has a very good batting average. 43, six centuries so far. Wouldn't he love a century here? And they're always appreciated when uh, they're made with uh, your teams back to the wall a bit. And I think it's fair to say that South Africa are going to have their work cut out here. The, uh, the spin bowling of this uh, Sri Lankan attack is their strength when they're in the field. And, uh, of course, Mathia Moodley Diren, who's got the first wicket, is uh, the big danger man. And he comes now to Cullis. And the danger time is always early on. It's very tough in these conditions to handle uh, this sort of spin early on. Now watch this, it squeezes through between bat and pad. He pushes it a little bit too firmly there. If he had kept his bat back a little bit, it rolls back onto his foot and back onto the stumps. Oh, and uh, that one stays down a little bit, but uh, nicely played by Callis. Yeah, so uh, let's have another look at this dismissal. Unfortunate one for South Africa. Yeah, I know definitely Neil McKenzie seemed to be getting quite settled and... Uh that one just rolling back onto the foot and onto the stumps. I'm sure he'd be uh, very disappointed in his first test. I'm sure he set himself up to get quite a nice couple of runs in there. After the over, asked Gary Kirsten about it. And uh, Gary Jock just got that one through. Uh, backward of square, and it's four. And uh, we'll come back to that uh, in just a second. It's the end of the over. It's 30 for one. Just watch this uh, shot from Callis again. Just a little bit short and uh, nicely played. You can't afford to be short to Jacques Callis. So he does this, and he played that one very well, although it stayed down a little bit. Moodley Duran continuing. And, uh, of course, in circumstances like this, where there's more often than not a forward short leg and a silly point, very tough on the umpires to get it right. Oh, and that's out. That's caught behind. Yes, he's hit the outside edge. That's beautiful bowling. Murali Duran is already amongst the wickets. That's a very difficult ball to, to play. If you're not sure how much it's going to spin, if you're not sure whether it's over spin or a little bit of off spin, you push at it, hoping that uh, it'll all be well. But watch this one. Pitching around about leg stump, spins a long way, hits the edge of the bat, through to the keeper, and that was nicely taken, actually. Quite a bit of... Uh, deflection there and Sangakara has made his first test catch and Murali Duran has now got two wickets so that is a huge one for uh, the Sri Lankans Kirsten out for 12 and South Africa are 30 for two Daryl Cullen and the new batsman an average of 43 as well there's some good batting averages amongst this uh, South African batting lineup I'm not too sure that uh, that's helping too much at the moment 57 test matches he's played one of the senior members of this team on strike now, Murali Duran, bowling superbly. No ball called, and uh, Cullinan off the mark straight away. Over the front line there, and uh, it's a bit naughty. He does that quite a bit. Well, he's out there because uh, of this dismissal. Yeah, no, if we have a look, uh, Gary Kirsten playing forward to that one. Just get a bit of turn, actually quite a bit of turn from Marithran there. And just managing to find the outside edge. And a very good catch taken. Really did him continuing. And uh, always hit that one away on the onside. And I think we might see a little bit of this. This one going down to the boundary for four. Yes, I think Cullinan may uh, adopt a relatively aggressive approach to uh, Murali Duran. Anything that's straight with no one back, he might just try and get a few fielders back. Try and spread the field a little bit. He'll, be, uh, he'll have to be quite calculating about it. That's cut away. So boundary of a no ball here. 
Yes, that was short. And also, uh, as soon as the uh, call of new ball came along, the batsman was very quick to latch onto it. That flew past slip. So looking to uh, add on whatever useful runs they could get. Yeah. Just striving for that little bit more. And that passed to run it away like a rocket. Oh, that's pulled away. Short delivery. And he's latched onto that one. That's a big hit. A strong man, Jack Cullis. Oh, Mulligan had dragged that down. And uh, that was very, very short. Giving uh, Callis all the time in the world to get onto it. And uh, he really gave that a big, big hit. Callan and down the wicket, it's a full toss. And he hits it cleanly, and it goes all the way. A welcome boundary to the South Africans. Taking the pressure off uh, Daryl Cullinan, confidently down, nicely. Getting onto that one, getting under it, and over mid on, all the way down to the boundary. So that's the right attitude. They've got to be positive, not to be tied down. And this one just catches the outside edge, runs away down the third man. Callan will come back for two. Little turn there for Chandana. Just eluding Ajuna Ranatunga. A bit of extra turn, a bit of bounce as well. Out of the reach of uh, Arjuna Ranatunga. Yes, Jay Surya has brought an extra man in right around the bat now. The three of them He's brought in the gully. See him standing there next to Rodan Tunga. That one short. Cullinan pulls it away beautifully. It's in the middle of the bat. Hits it down. Controlled. So, a very positive way to bring up the 50 partnership. Seeing the short one and quickly dispatching it down to the boundary. Very important that you don't get stuck there. Keep taking the attack on. 50 runs, very important partnership for the South Africans. Kalinan and Kalis doing a very, very good job out there. Hey! And the Ampa Peter Manu has taken the, the bears off. Muridran, the wicket taker, two wickets. And a very good effort by Kalinan and Jack Kalis. Sana Jasuri will be pleased with the two wickets, but must be disappointed, couldn't make inroads after that. Kalis on 27, Kalinan on the same score, 27. Two boundaries to Kalis, three to Kalinan. Very good job done by them. Partnership of 51. Mutai Mulidran, the wicket taker. Two early wickets, and then after that, frustrated by some good batting between Kalis and Kalinan. So at the uh, end of the second day of the test match, the South Africans losing two wickets but ending up on 81 for two, mainly due to Kalis and Kalinan putting up a partnership of 51. important 51 run partnership Kirsten and Mackenzie comfortable with the uh, seamers looking 25 and the introduction of Murli Dharan both Kirsten and Mackenzie were parted the bowling was very steady eight overs five maidens for five runs Soisa went for a few four was 12 runs Dharma Sena no wickets Murli Dharan the wicket taker 13 overs two maidens 29 for two Chandra Steady six overs, two maidens for 17 runs. Well, another beautiful day at the Gore Stadium. A tough day ahead for the South Africans. The wicket expected to take a lot of turn. It turned yesterday. South Africa had their backs to the wall from the outset. Right now, the status of the match, 
Well, that's certainly balanced in Sri Lanka's favour. You can see so Sri Lanka getting 522, posting a big score. And then South Africa going into bat, 81 for two overnight. Daryl Cullinan and Jacques Callis, the men still in, and they had a lot to play for. Well, let's pick it up. In the fourth over of the day, it's Murilithran bowling to Cullinan. Coach, specialist bowling coach, and the stand-in manager, Doug Russell. Well, that's well bowled. I think that was a straight-on delivery and uh, hitting the outside edge of the bat. No gully, running down to third man. Two to Cullinan. Really they down. all count. Very lucky. Well, was this the one that went the other way? It's the top spinner. Hello, Cullinan right, certainly down. didn't read it. Played across it. It's the one that goes straight to slip. Oh, and uh, they've asked the question. Yes, uh, they've given him out. He's out caught at silly point. Well, that was a, I think that was probably a big edge. A spontaneous response from all the uh, players there. Colour stood his ground, understandably so. You're not going to walk for anything like that. But uh, once again, Moodley did in a struck. Let's see if we can pick it up. Here we go. It's spinning back. And, uh, well, there were certainly two noises there. Hard to pick from here. One or two of the other angles might tell the story a little bit uh, more readily. So, a spontaneous response there. Callis is out. That's a big wicket for the Sri Lankans. 29 to Callis. South Africa now three down with 86 on the board. Jonty Rhodes is the new batsman. 30 years of age. He's played 50 test matches. He's got uh, over 2,000 runs and a batting average of 35. Three centuries and wouldn't one here today be nice for him and for South Africa. Right, well, Cullis, I think, a thick inside edge. And uh, that was judging by the response. Let's see if we can pick it up here. Pitches out the line there. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Big inside edge onto the pad. And, uh, well, you see, because his bat is not alongside his pad, it then pops up on the offside. Absolutely no doubt about that whatsoever. So Callis out now and Murli Duran. Have a look at that, uh, that name of his. Already appeared three times out of three. So uh, there is absolutely no doubt that uh, he's going to have a huge impact here. That one uh, through uh, the gap between third slip and down to the boundary for four. Well, easy runs there for Cullinan. Should be happy with that. Just guiding it down. He didn't. Just played with soft hands, angled the bat down towards third man. Wasn't an outside edge. That's what well played. That's uh, nicely hit down towards uh, the mid-wicket uh, area and uh, hit it down into the ground. It's going to go for four as well. So that's very well played. Very, very well played. And uh, you can see there Cullinan now has moved on to 38. And uh, I just thought this morning, if he can get to 50, if he can get to 50, it may well be that this is going to be Daryl Cullinan's day. He just needs some support down the other end. Daryl Cullinan very strong on the hook, strong off the back foot. Picks it up early. I think he's pulled most quick bowlers around the world. Certainly, Vice is not going to trouble him on this kind of pitch. From a personal point of view, I would recommend anyone watching this telecast. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. That's a wonderful shot. Straight down the ground, over the top for four. Right. Well, this is what I like to see. The Queenian has decided Moodley Duran is not going to dominate here totally, and every now and again he's going to give him some treatment. That's beautiful. Well, that's perfect. Down the wicket, just shimmies a little bit, and into position, and over the top. That is a good shot, showing his dom. Oh! That's beautifully bowled. This is classic bowling by a champion off spinner. This has deceived Rhodes. All ends up beautiful flight, sharp turn, and it's gone through the defences of Johnny Rhodes. Jonty Rhodes not coming forward, going back and going back really undid him and that ball spinning back sharply into Jonty Rhodes and keeping a bit low as well, getting the gate and right through to the middle stump. So Murli Dharan on a roll here. He's picked up two wickets in the morning. Rhodes goes for 12, 119 for four South Africa.
So Lance Klusner comes out to the centre. His side in trouble here. They've lost two wickets this morning. Jack Hallis the first to go, then Johnny Rhodes. 30 matches for Lance Klusner, over a thousand runs, 174 against England is best. That was a superb innings. He tore the English attack apart. But this is why he's here. Beaten all ends up, Jaunty Rolls there. Deceived in the flight. Opted to play back here. And in the end had no answer to that turning ball. That's a short delivery and once again pulled away. He's not quite timed it. But uh, he gets two runs and reaches a half century here, Cullinan. Good innings by him. He's played very positively. 121 for four. Well, he's used his feet to the spinners too. Now, that's the last ball of the previous over. Didn't quite time it. That's crashed through the offside. So first boundary for Klusner. It's a bit of extra flight there. Klusner quickly onto it. Powerfully through the extra cover region. Over pitch, nice half volley. That will give him a bit of confidence, get a field of things. This one flighted, and Cullinan's hit it straight to mid wicket. And he's dropped it. It's Marvin Adipatu. Cullinan prepared to take a bit of flight on, there's no doubt. Just didn't get hold of it. Important chance goes begging. Cullen has been looking to uh, look positive and uh, that time seen that open area. But Marvin Atapatu, a fine effort put down. She doesn't get hold of it. And, uh, well, he should have caught that. It's a bit of an angled bat. And this one he hits powerfully down the ground. That'll roll away. Inclusion he hits it, it stays hit. It goes down the ground for four. And brings the end of the over. South Africa 141 for four. That shot would have given Clusa some amount of confidence. It's always good to have uh, a boundary under your belt. It's the last ball that Clusa faced from Domasina. He smashed it down the ground, hit it powerfully. Freeze the arms. Doesn't hit it in the middle, closes the face, which isn't bad. Make sure he doesn't hit it up. Clusen are now powerfully struck down the ground. It's too full. And uh, he'll put away those that are too full. There's no doubt about it. Keep working, keep working. Come on. And this is really what Klusner could do. He's such a powerful strike of the ball. And when it is in the slot, and once he goes through with it, the ball stays hit. It's a no ball and hit powerfully down the ground again. Once it's in the hitting area, Klusner's going to have a go at it. That's really the way to do it. It's not always going to be easy. But, um, one really needs to make use of every opportunity. And as soon as he heard the cry off, no ball, he pounced on it very quickly and uh, hit it straight hard past the bowler. And uh, it certainly was hit very, very firmly. Taking risks, yeah. one short and put away by Cullinan really a rank short delivery from Darmacina on a slow turning wicket you can't bowl short yes I think uh, the South Africans are doing things right here they're just putting the bad balls away for boundaries and uh, when they keep on getting the boundaries uh, the scoreboard also keeps moving around and uh, this does put uh, pressure on the uh, fielding side Cullinan goes again. Well, this one is hit in the middle. And I fancy that could go all the way. That is a good hit by Daryl Cullinan. He's applying the pressure on Darmasina. He's not going to let him settle. He picks it up beautifully. That really was picked up beautifully by Cullinan. Just launching into it and um, that really took the meat of the bat. Clearing the boundary by a few yards. He certainly is looking good, Cullinan, now. Line with 
the left and right end combination at the moment. Klusner just with disdain hits it down and a magnificent catch. That is a magnificent catch. And he is a good fielder, Chandana. Straight down mid on. And he's dived across and caught it. That is a good catch. Oh, Klusner couldn't have chosen anyone worse than Chandana to hit it straight to. And Chandana, what an outstanding catch. Meet to the bat and look at Chandana. A fine catch. Almost the ball's passed him, but he grabbed onto it. So big wicket for Sri Lanka when um, this partnership was looking good. Klusner's gone. Got caught by Chandana off Dharmasena. South Africa lose their fifth wicket for 162. Mark Douch is the new batsman, 23 years of age and an average of 31. He's uh, encroaching upon a thousand runs in test match cricket. And so far, just 29 test matches. One century against Zimbabwe. Wouldn't he like one here today? Someone needs to stay with Daryl Cullinan. This is the dismissal again, beautifully taken. Upul Chandana, one of the best outfieldsmen in the world. Turning out to be a wonderful all-round cricketer. Upul lurched at it. Oh, he's hit that one in the air, and that's going down towards deep at wicket. He's decided to have a go, and it's gone for four. Yeah, right, we well, uh, that was perfectly hit right into the gap. Every now and again, Cullen plays the shot. He moves on now to 73, yeah, we're all we're on his up. own today with the bat. So really gets in line, shuffles across, gets onto the pitch of that one. Goes right through with it confidently. He's done a good job out here. He's not afraid to try and punch the one that's loose. Doesn't let the bowler really settle into a set rhythm. Yes, sir. Oh, Boys hey. bowled him. Oh, well, perhaps I'll put the mockers on him. Going back to the ball that spins. Now, he didn't pick that one. That was a rip snorting spinner from outside off stump. He picked the other ball okay. He didn't pick that one that spun back really sharply. And it's deflected, I think, probably off his back down onto. He stumped. So just watch this. There it is. It uh, came back and there was a bit of bat and pad there deflected onto the stump. Wasn't that uh, serious spin? So Moodley Dillon getting another wicket and unfortunately the end of Boucher. Out bowled by Moodley Dillon. He now has five wickets. Five for 68. His figures. That's the end of Boucher. And uh, well, Cullinan's partners continue to disappear. The score 168 for six. And South Africa's captain Sean Pollock has now arrived at the crease. 43 test matches, an average of 29. It's not a bad average actually, a bit of an all-rounder Sean Pollock. It'll be interesting to see how he plays uh, the spinners now. Murley Duran is having an absolute ball out there. Five for 68. So we go again. One uh, hooked away down towards the boundary, and it'll go for four. Well, that's one of the, f the few really loose balls that we've seen today. Darmasina won't be very happy with that one. Ranatunga going down there to have a talk to him. Just a little chat. Don't try and do too much. Don't try and get frustrated just because Murley's getting all the wickets down the other end. That was very short, very bad delivery. All he needed was a little chat, and uh, his captain of yesteryear was there to have a little whisper in his ear. Very frustrating for a spinner like Darmasina, who's got one for 42 at one end. This is uh, the wicket again. Notice how he goes back. It's the degree of spin, really. That's the great attribute that this little man has. How much is it going to spin? Is it going to spin in? Is it going to go straight through? Is it going to go away? And that's nicely played through the offside field. Beautiful shot. Again, a little bit too short. I think he's trying to bowl too, uh, too fast. He's trying to make it happen. And now Darmasina wants a field across on the other side. I don't think he wants to worry about that too much. That was a ranked long hop. You cannot set fields for bad balls. So he just needs to settle down a little bit. Darmasena ball in two bad deliveries. Darakal now doing a good job. Just dispatching them to the boundaries. Better confidently. He's made adjustment to the field. So Murali Duran causing a nightmare for the South Africans and uh, the problem they're having is um, how do they pick which way it's spinning? Now just look at this. This is an overspin delivery. The ball spins over the top there. This is an off spinner. Let's watch Murali Duran here. Watch this one. That was a straight over. That was an over the top delivery. So when he spins the ball like this with his finger, that's going over the top. It's spinning over the top. That's an off spinner like that. 
And every now and again, he gets it to go that way. Now, just watch this ball coming out of his hand. Watch that. That's over the top. Now, he's done that this way. Oh. Just show you what he did there. You can see the ball came out of his fingers, actually like that. So that's his over-the-top ball, spinning like that through the air. Came out of his fingers there. It's quite incredible. Really is a wonderful bowler. And uh, as a batsman, you've got to try and pick how much it's going to spin, which way it's spinning. Good luck, Sean. Again. Oh, well done. Getting close, Charles. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Tamurudan continuing the teasing flight, bringing Sean Pollock forward. No oh. ball called. Yes, he's taken five wickets in an innings 20 times in test matches. Quite an incredible performance by Mathai Murli Diren. Of course, uh, he's all on his own in terms of Sri Lankans. We had a little ch chat to him this morning and asked him how many times he'd taken 13 wickets or more in innings. And he was very quick to tell me once. However, correct, in, in a test match, 13 wickets in a test match. Very quick to tell me once, but said, uh, don't worry, it'll be twice shortly. That's the confidence that Mutai Muridharan has. Shantarak pushing forward. Quite tentatively putting his, put his pad forward there. Good stretch. Callanan down the wicket and just up the side the reach of Muli Duran. Well, fortune favours the brave. Takes him up to 89 now. That was close. Callanan once again using his feet to advantage, coming down the wicket and uh, prepared to take the aerial route. Just eluding the outstretched hands of Murlitharan. And what an effort again, this man. He's been bowling so much. And uh, picking up four runs in the process. He's looking for that elusive 10 in a match. We know that. And he's into Cullinan. No ball bowled. And Cullinan just turns it around the corner quite easily. I don't think he got a bat on it. Yes, he did. By signaling runs. For a spinner, Murli Dharan is one um, who has a few problems uh, with that front foot of his. Just goes to show the amount of effort he gets into his deliveries. A bit of a long stride and looking to get on that front foot. Miss it. It's the only danger. That's well played. It's turned around the corner. And that'll run away. Zoys is coming around after it. He'll have to make legs. Yeah, he does. And he does. Picks up three. It's Cullinan, now 97. Well, that was very nicely played by Cullinan. Getting across the line and uh, nibbling at that. Just turning the wrists around and uh, doing it very fine. It's very delicately played. Sean Pollock, well, he plays this away on the offside. Not convinced that uh, is the kind of shot to play in the last delivery of the over. 197 for six. Last delivery, just the pad. Oh! It's a sweep and it's in the air and that's out. Well, well, straight in the air. First sweep he's had. And it's gone straight down the throat of Domsina. Here's some anxious moments for Pollock. Pollock uh, was frustrated. He wasn't reading Murlitharan. And um, when that happens, as usually, uh, the sweep that one employs, and Pollock uh, picks it up well, but hits it in there. And Dharmasena is there, well in place. He picks it up well. So Pollock is gone, and uh, a very important wicket for Sri Lanka, breaking the stand, um, which was getting threatening. And uh, South Africa lose their seventh wicket for 198 be happy to see a left-hander walk in with the amount of spin being imparted here. This is the dismissal of Pollock. On the sweep. Up she goes. Damasina had to cover quite a bit of ground. Good catch. Give that one away. Cullinan gets it round the corner and that'll be his hundred. Well better, Daryl Cullinan. That is a good innings. One of the best. Against all odds, he's carried the flag for South Africa. 
once again and his teammates applaud him a little better Daryl what a fine innings by Daryl Cullinan. and 11 fours and a six a superb innings in the face of adversity and that's really a, a sign of great character he's now scored most of centuries for South Africa making it 11 he's played a lone hand he turns it around the corner he's mixed caution and aggression he's played well he's fought hard and he'll be happy with that Allison Cullinan added 56 but most of those runs were added yesterday and today just one partnership 43 between Klusner and Cullinan that's a good shot he's a good player of spin Nicky Boy played some useful innings on the tour of India and that's a good sweep shot he swept it on length Dharmasena, the off spinner coming, angling into uh, Nikki Boye, taking it right from that point. As it goes on length, he nice roll of the wrist, keeping it down. Got enough bat on that one, all the way down to the boundary. Now just changing the angle a bit here, coming round the wicket to the left hander. That's a lovely shot. Excellent use of his feet. Just goes to show that he's a confident player against spin bowling, Nicky Boye. Good use of the feet, giving himself that room and getting the elevation required going under that. Very good cricketing shot. He's not afraid to use the feet. Not a great spinner, Kumar Dharmasena. Was uh, right at the pitch of that one. Yes. He... And he's got a wicket here, just as I say it. Well struck by Nicky Boye. But Atapatu on that occasion made no mistake. That ball was travelling to him quickly. It was chest high. And uh, the Sri Lankan captain has struck here. Inviting Nicky Boye to drive a bit wide. And Boye drives. Not being able to get on top of that one and uh, Mawanata Patu, a good effort. You could be gone for 12, South Africa 213 for 8. 213 for 8. Paul Adams comes out to the middle. South Africa have lost uh, the second wicket after lunch. Pollock was the first to go. Nicky Boy the next. And the Paul Adams more on the side, as you can see from that graphic, for his bowling rather than batting. 29 against England is best. And this is the last man to be dismissed. Rajas, who are inviting the left-hander to drive there. The ball coming out of the rough. And Boy not able to keep it down. And a good catch by Atapadu. He dropped one earlier of Kalanan. But he made no mistake on that occasion. It's nicely played on the onside. He's got plenty of bat on it. But damn, um, rather than having a go at that one, I'm very wide. Straight into his pants, played well. Murilidharan runs and pivots around and throws it. player of old, Alan Not, who said to you that it was so difficult, more difficult than batting, the concentration. Oh, he's hit that one, this is out, it's in the air, this will be caught out, yes, nicely taken at mid on. Marvin Atapatu running around and taking that one, no trouble at all, that was a, a repeat of the shot that uh, he tried to play a little while ago, trying to heave it over mid wicket, you don't do that, that to a leg spinner, that's certainly not, uh, well, hang on, that was a full toss, so perhaps you do try and do it, but uh, you've got to try to hit it in the middle of the bat, he did, and uh, unfortunately didn't quite uh, succeed, it went straight up in the air, and unfortunately for Adams, uh, that's the end of his inning, so Adams out for four, in South Africa are now 223 for nine. No, that's too late. Kyan Dini is uh, in his fifth test match. An average of nine with a bat. No centuries yet. 
and uh, four not out is his best score against England at Leeds. Well, there's a big opportunity for him to improve on that. He's down at the non-striker's end now then. What's Cullinan going to do here? I hope he doesn't do anything silly. He's got to just keep going. He's got to be not out in this test match. And we sm smash that away. That's gone a long way down towards the boundary. Has it gone all the way? I think it may just have reached or is it four? Well, it was pretty close. Uh, the umpire's going to want... Uh, He's going to want us to have a look at that one. It was pretty close to the line. Very short delivery and uh, beautifully dispatched. Have a look at it fly. I think Cullen hit that pretty well, but I don't think it's gone all the way. Just short of that line. Pretty difficult to heave that over mid-wicket off the back foot against the spin. Hit it well, though. Yes, that's definitely a four. No doubt about that. I don't know why it's taking that long. Oh, he's hit that one nicely, uh, right over the top. And it's bounced away down to the boundary for four. So, uh, missed two, hit one so far. And uh, the one he hit, he hit very well. Yes, he hits us in the middle, watches the ball. Got a bottom hand, over the top. he will be happy with that. I think he makes his, uh, close to his top score. Well, no, that, that, that one shot results in four runs, which equals his high score. So, um... About to see a record broken here. Oh, I like it. That's it. It's going down to the boundary as well. He's doubled his best score. That's going to go to the fence for four. Makai Natini has uh, doubled his best ever. He's now moved to eight. Yes, eight runs. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Greg Hayes will now certainly be a bit more, feel more comfortable. Taught him well to play the cut product of the development system down in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. And what, brought him what? through. And made his way back. Fought hard. That's well bowled and nicely taken. Well taken. That's beautifully caught. So the question now is, um, has that been taken in time for them to take the drinks break as well as tea together? So the end of the innings, 238 all out. Kaintini pushes forward. And straight to Arjuna Ranatunga. Good catch. Sharp. Chandana gets another wicket. End of the innings. And Makaintini. He's out for eight court. Ranatunga ball. Chandana. South Africa. 238 all out. who made his highest score in Test Match Cricket today. Doubled his four, and uh, he now has a top score of eight in the Test Match game. But have a look at that. Daryl Cullinan, all on his own. 114 not out. Unfortunately, from South Africa's point of view, in more ways than one, no one able to stay with him. And that from his point of view, and I think from South Africa's point of view, very, very disappointing. The partnerships, well, I think they speak for themselves there. You can see that uh, there were quite a few uh, mediocre sort of partnerships, lots of sort of are they 30s and 40s there's even a 50 there um, 15s and 10s but uh, nothing really meaningful and that's what they needed they needed a few really good uh, players to get stuck in together and put on some big partnerships the way the uh, Sri Lankans did when they were batting from a bowling point of view well go on Salia they are your men talk us through I'm with them we're right up there uh, Chandana chipping in with two Sana Jasuri getting that uh, boy we could when they were looking to settle down but Mutai Muridharan, a fantastic effort. He's come there, he's really tried on this wicket. And looking from the very first go, he said, I'm going to get in there with the wickets. And he did it. He did a good job. Got the two wickets yesterday and then coming in and chipping in with four today. So uh, that's the situation. The player's about to come out onto the ground. The batsmen are ready, no doubt. And in the commentary box, waiting, no doubt, to pick up the commentary, Ravi Shastri and Ranjit Fernando. And nicely played off his legs by Kirsten. He'll get his first boundary here. Well, Kirsten, he's so very good in that area. As soon as Vaz all pitched it there on the leg stump, it just whips it away. The timing, once again, absolutely perfect. And uh, such a risky player, Kirsten. 
and into wicket here in the southern province. That's formally struck, second boundary of the over. Fractionally over pitch from Vaas and uh, Gary Kirsten has dealt with it in style. So Kirsten, he's making his intentions clear. The South Africans uh, not allowing the Sri Lankan bowlers to dominate in any way and anything that's uh, meant to be hit, they're taking advantage. He's going to be in the action soon. <laughs> Loud shout here for leg before, but Pardell Harper isn't interested. Pozin did a very good delivery, bring the batsman forward, but uh, probably done a little bit. I think a very good shout. It's just about in line. Oh, that's a good shot. He's really got stuck into that one. Got into great position to play the shot. And a boundary there to end the over. 20 for no loss. That was neatly played. That's going to give him a lot of confidence. Then the last over here. Short delivery from Zoysa. And uh, Mackenzie getting into good position, rolling his wrist, keeping the ball down. And playing it away from that man at uh, backward square leg. Yes, this pitch could be very unforgiving to the short one. 41 overs bowled by Mutai Marudran. There'll be a long ball for him in the second innings as well. Oh, and uh, off the edge. Off the edge and down and... Uh... Well, uh, I think he got a finger on it, Arjuna Rantunga, but that was about it. It went straight down, no chance of a catch. Really got a bit of protection on one of those fingers, and that one, uh, very difficult. You can notice the ball going down there and uh, well, through the slip cordon for four. And I can see almost following the delivery outside his body. The ball hitting the deck and seeming away. Arjuna Rantunga trying to gather that one. Just got a finger on that one. Uh, that trickled all the way down this time of year prawns plentiful as well it's nicely played straight down the ground for four well that's uh, brought a, a few runs after a, a lull in um, in the scoring of runs for a while seven in seven seven runs in seven overs and then this one it's a bit of a pitch there by uh, Dharma Sena and he can see going straight through getting the placement nice straight as ever all the way down to the line Breaking the monotony of just a lot of dot balls with that boundary. That's into the gap as well. That's nicely played. He's used his feet well on that one. Gone with the spin. It's running away down towards... This is a very fast outfield. That's gone all the way for four. Almost uh, looked as if it gathered speed, which is uh, impossible, but uh, it certainly didn't slow down much. Lovely <laughs> shot. Totally on that boundary, Lara Fernando making the chase, the, the substitute for Sanat Jayasuriya. Really came down well and got it right from the middle of the bat. Placement nice. And got to be careful. That's nicely driven. He got to the pitch of the ball and he's found the gap on the offside. That's a good stroke from uh, Gary Kirsten here. A classical drive from Kirsten Square, bends the back knee, nice and square. That is a trademark shot from Gary Kirsten. He's always leaning into it. 27, he gets his third boundary. On the ball, Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting, waiting. So the 50 partnership coming up here between the two with that single. Still 233 runs behind. And again the cover drive. This time it's gone a lot squarer. The result is the same. We saw Kirsten playing a similar shot in the last over from Chandana. 
once again square drive from Kirsten and if he finds the gap it's four there's nobody out there with the lead that uh, Sri Lanka have they can afford to attack happy for players to play the shot give a couple of boundaries away but if they can make a breakthrough we'll be happy Kirsten moves on to 33 now well, that's gone past the outside edge has it top spinner from Chandana that foxed Carrie Kirsten that was excellently bold that was the one that went straight on and that was well that was perilously close to that off stump superb delivery Kirsten not picking it squares him up and he's dropped it this time on that occasion the edge was taken One just got the feeling that Sangakara was grabbing at it. Well, Sangakara upset with that. He rode it and it got stuck in the glove. It actually got stuck in the webbing and as he moved his hand, it fell out. Yeah, that's bad luck. Uh, Arjuna Ranatunga has taken the catch here. And that's the second catch he's taken off Chandana today. But South Africa have lost their first wicket in the second innings. Good delivery from Chandana. He had the batsman groping forward. Very good delivery here. Pitched on off stump. He had to play it. He plays it very low. And fancy the ball before it undid him. Well taken by Arjuna Ranatunga. And Mackenzie then out for 25. South Africa now 58 for 1. So Jack Hallis comes out to bat here. South Africa have just lost a wicket in their second innings. Chandana finally being rewarded. There was a drop chance in his previous over. But all eyes on Callas now. Quality player, averaging over 40. Jacques Callas, he's a good, classy player. This is the dismissal goes straight to Renatunga nice and low and to his left that's well taken short delivery pulled away down to the boundary for four you can't afford to bowl loose balls to Gary Kirsten once he gets set he uh, becomes a danger man and uh, he's very good at punishing the loose ball that one right off the middle of the bat oh this pitch can be very unforgiving on the short delivery and uh, Gary Kirsten giving it the punishment it deserves it's a lot of open areas around mid wicket oh, and uh, that's very well bowled too that one bouncing it was the other delivery it uh, was an overspin delivery Israeli is turning out to be some clever bowling by Murlither and a wry smile from uh, Ranatunga. Just hit past him, straight to delivery, just look at that. Just taking it off uh, the stumps and uh, Ranatunga. Short delivery and once again pulled away down towards the boundary for four. So Kirsten taking advantage of those short deliveries. Every now and again he gets one and he uh, gets on top of it, smashes it away. He's had the cap, the back of his mind always, and uh, as soon as Murlidhan drops it short, he's uh, been aiming in that direction and makes it good once again. Kirsten has been putting the bad balls away for boundaries, and... Uh, How is that? How is that? Yes, I think that's a bit optimistic. We'll come back and have a look at it in a moment. It's 72 for one. Yes, just have a look at this one. Um, it looked as if Murli Duran got quite excited here, but uh, once again, the ball pitching outside leg stump. Only just, mind you, and uh, had it not, had it pitched online, well, that would have been uh, very adjacent. Worth having another look at that. It's no wonder uh, Murli Duran got quite excited about it. It was only just pitched outside the leg stump. A very good decision in the circumstances, but uh, just have a look how fine the line is. Here we go. That one pitching, look at that, it spun back, he let it go, and of course up he went. Everyone asked the question there, they got all got quite excited about it. Ah! Oh, bigger feel there, that would have been pretty close. 
Well, it probably spun a little bit too much. His leg is quite a long way forward. Let's see if we can pick it up. It looked as if it pitched on the stumps. Well, maybe just outside. But uh, you can see they're probably hitting the stumps. Let's see where it pitches. Here we go again. This is going to be pitching quite straight. Yes, it pitched on middle, didn't it? Did it spin just a little bit too much? Ooh, very, very close. Go down the wicket he goes. He's hit that oh, one straight that down ball. the ground. Well, that's a, a frustrating, uh, well, a frustrated shot, I think. He was bogged down there, Callis. 37 oh, wow. balls for two runs. Now he's hit a four. End of the over, 76 for one. The Sri Lankan spinners using his feet and then going the aerial route and picking up four runs. That would uh, give Kelly some amount of confidence. He's not been uh, finding it easy to pick up runs. This partnership is not broken. Again, a good blow here from Callis. That's the second time he's done that. And that's a good positive hit. Have to wait and see if this is six because just for a moment it looked as if it went all the way. Lovely use of his feet. Good straight hit here. And may have landed just inside the boundary line. So another boundary here for Callis. It's a good confident shot by Jack Callis. Went right through with that one. Did that in the previous over as well. Just short of the line. Pool Chandana, both Dharmasena and Muntaya Muridharan really not looking penetrative. Dharmasena maintained a good line and length. And Callis again using his feet, this time against the off spinner. One bounce over the boundary line. So this is more like the Callis we know, playing his natural game. Good positive blow from uh, Jack Callis. Down the wicket. And over mid on, clearing the infield and all the way down to the boundary. So, and another lovely shot to end the over. This is good batting by Jack Hallis. He's not allowing the bowler to dictate terms to him. 93 for one. It's confident shots from Callis in the last over. This is the last ball of the previous over. Good straight hit. Hall has scored two of his first 37 balls. He scored 17 of, a, of the next 13 he's faced. That's a good shot. Enough time to rock back onto that back foot and find the gap on the offside. Thurston moving on to 49 with that boundary. Short, giving himself the time to get over it and play it into the vacant cover region all the way down to the line. Just waited on that one nicely. Oh, that one stayed low, but Kirsten will get his half century up. That's gone off the bottom edge. So fighting innings here from uh, Gary Kirsten, 108 for one. It's a fantastic uh, half century by Gary Kirsten, a gritty one, a gutsy one. So Gary Kirsten reaching his 50 in the last over, seven boundaries in this innings. This one staying really low and uh, Kirsten getting the bottom edge there. Shooting along the deck there after pitching. So the partnership also worth 50. So you can see Jean Cullis took his time early on, but uh, he's definitely got to move on. 
as his innings has progressed. It's some bold shots against the offspin of Dharmasena. And a mix up here, there could be a run out. Now this could be tragedy for South Africa. Gary Kirsten can't believe it. He's looking at Callis. The Sri Lankans believe they've got their man. Uh, totally unnecessary by the South Africans. Bit of misunderstanding. A quick return by Was. And Gary Kirsten's out of the picture. What a disaster. Uh, this is a terrible end. He had concentrated so hard. Sent back by Callis here. There never seemed to be a second run. And he is way short of his ground. A good couple of yards short of his ground. So Sri Lanka have got the second wicket. Very dejected Gary Kirsten here, making his way back to the pavilion. He's out for 55, 112 for two. Sri Lanka couldn't have asked for anything better. Last over of the day, a wicket falling down here, and uh, it's not a spin bowler who's picked it up. It's come by way of a run out. Well, a tragic end to the day. Gary Kirsten being run out unnecessarily, trying to get the two. He was out for 55, and Jacques Callas still there on 25. South Africa, 1-1-2 one, one, for two. Partnerships, the first one brought 58 runs between Kirsten and McKenzie, a good one. But then Kirsten and Callas, they went for 54 in their partnership, and as I said, tragic end for Kirsten being run out. And the bowling for Sri Lanka, Vars and Zoysa, they toiled, opened the bowling, didn't get any wickets. Damasina didn't get a wicket. Murali Duran hasn't struck yet. Chandana got the one wicket and of course the run out. Well, the match situation at the moment, South Africa really with their backs to the wall. There's no way back I foresee here and it's going to be a tough, tough day for tomorrow. So South Africa, two wickets down already, only eight in the bag and all to play for. See you tomorrow. Oh, he's toppled it. Well, another beautiful day at the Gore Stadium. The wind blowing across the ground, it's hot and humid, and South Africa with their backs to the wall. There's no doubt they got all to play for and to try and bat for two days. The status of the game at the moment, well, 522 first innings by Sri Lanka. Jay Saria climbed in and so did Jawadina. South Africa then batted 238 all out with Cullinan scoring 114. They were asked to bat again. South Africa 112 for two. Kirsten got run out, tragically last ball of the night. South Africa now 172 runs needed to make Sri Lanka bat again. And a real tough time. And we pick it up in the first over with Murali Duran bowling to Callis. It's Murali Duran early on. Well, shouts of catch it here. They all go up. But uh, the man who matters the most, uh, that's Daryl Harper, he's not interested. Well, a big shot here. Ball went short leg. Just have a close look. I don't think he got anything on it. This is bat. He's in front of his pad, so there's a good chance if it does nick the pad, the bat to make. It happens so quickly. That's a positive blow from Callis. Down the track, over the top. And the first boundary of the morning. Well, Jacques Callis, he's going to mix aggression and caution, no doubt. He's seen a lot from the first innings when Cullinan took them on. Down the wicket he goes, over the top, feet in the right position. Good clean hit, forcing the man back now. Looks to take the aerial route. He didn't quite time it. In the end, uh, ended up dragging it towards the mid-wicket area. There is no mid-wicket. So another couple of runs, but he's uh, once again looking to be very positive here, Cullinan. His fortune favours the brave at times. And, uh, just not at the pitch. But uh, he's got good enough eyesight at the moment. Enough touch to know where the ball is, even probing away. Some big spin occasionally. Short, and it's got the treatment. He does play that shot very well, Daryl Cullinan. He's a good cutter and puller. 
Well, this one a real gimme. Half tracker. Just sits up. Cullinan can put it anywhere he likes. Can't bowl there. Daryl Cullinan. Must hit it. That's got away nicely. And a misfield on the boundary. Chaminda Vas was the fielder there. He took his time coming down. That was enough for the ball to go past the boundary line. His Carlos hit it powerfully. And, uh, well, a regulation pickup on the boundary. This is poor fielding. This is how not to do it. But um, Vas, he is a fast bowler. And uh, in the mornings, these fast bowlers are a little bit stiff. Kirsten will be looking at that saying, why didn't he feel like that when I was running? That's up in the air. He could be out caught here. Please hold out here, Callas. Shandana has struck. Mudli the run the catcher. And South Africa have lost their first wicket of the morning. So Murali Duran gets in on the act again. Chandana struck. Callas tries to sweep it. It's too wide outside the off stump. He's sweeping against that spin. The length was good. Difficult to keep down in South Africa. Well, they lose an important wicket of Callas. He's gone for 40. South Africa 139 for three. So Jonty Rhodes has come out to the center. Over 2,000 runs at an average of 35, 300s. You'll need to play a special innings here if South Africa have to have any chance of saving this game. They've just lost a wicket, that of Callas. As Callas goes on the sweep, and the ball just bounces towards slip. A little bit more than he expected, I fancy. And he's got the top edge. Simple catch for Murali Duran. They go and he's out. That's the end of Cullinan. Well, Arnold making the catch there. It looked to me to be a good one too. He uh, he handles uh, the spinners very well, Cullinan. He tries to keep it down, and that was uh, well, it was a dive from the silly point. Went uh, right across the front of Cullinan. Let's see if we can pick up the deflection. There we go. You can see it hardly goes anywhere. And what a good catch! Oh, beautifully taken. Arnold in fingertip, uh, right at the end of his fingers, he's got it and holds it up. And boy, there's uh, celebration out there because that's the wicket they wanted. He made an undefeated 100 in the first innings. And unfortunately now, Cullinan out for 12 or 30 deliveries. South Africa slump to 141 for four. Lance Klusner is the new batsman. He's got a batting average of 35. He's... Uh, played in 30 test matches he's developed a fair bit of experience now and uh, it'll be interesting to see whether he can live up to his reputation obviously played some tremendous one-day cricket he's uh, a big hero in South Africa this is the dismissal again look how he tries to smother this and keep it down on the pitch he uh, closes the face in an effort to do that but uh, it bounces up and what a catch look at this fingertip stuff wonderfully taken that really indeed was a great catch by Arnold. One really has to stay close by, particularly as there's not much bounce. And just keep an eye on Arnold. The fingers, the ball's just standing out there, and what a great catch. Yes, good angle, wasn't it? Uh, you could see how Cullinan was trying to smother the ball there. He just couldn't keep it down. There goes that sweep shot again. And uh, that might go for four. Oh, that's gone for four. That's very well played by John T. Rhodes. He picks his spot, uh, decided to go a little finer that time and got it away off the middle of the bat. That's, uh, this is lovely cricket. This is a, a shot that, when played well, can be very helpful in conditions like this. He plays it so well, John T. Rhodes, getting that foot right in front of the ball and uh, getting his wrist nicely over it, keeping it along the ground. And uh, that's what makes it so effective, particularly on a pitch like this, which uh, has quite a bit of turn. Hit that one in the air and wide of the fieldsman. Well, that was a miss hit, really. Just a little bit lucky. Klusner, of course, if he really does hit it in the middle of the bat, it does stay hit. That time uh, wasn't quite there. And lucky to get away with that one. 152 for four. Just, um, just watch this. 
smash it away now this is the uh, short leg obviously as uh, he goes to hit that uh, <laughs> you can imagine the plight of a short leg with Klusner there it's so much good work for India oh, and, uh, that's it that's out caught behind nice catch too. the ball bouncing a little bit that's the end of Klusner he didn't pick the bouncy ball he was playing for the off spin it was too close to him to cut nicely taken by Sangakara as well I think he's measured up this young man as keep up it's tough for him just watch this the overspin delivery it goes straight through it gets the top edge he's read it beautifully Sangakara sure he caught it in the fingertips but he caught it that's what matters and uh, look at the smile on Mathaya Murali Duran's face up goes the finger and South Africa have lost yet another one Yes, Sangakara's fingers were in the right place and Lance Kluster he's gone South Africa lose their fifth wicket for 153 so Boucher, the new batsman, uh, he was out for a duck in the first innings. He's, um, he's been a fighter over the years, Mark Boucher. He's made some very useful runs when the South Africans have had their backs to the wall. You can see an average of over 30. Does a very good job as uh, a wicketkeeper. Definitely a wicketkeeper batsman. <laughs> so uh, a form of all-rounder. As soon as the... Um, the batting of a side is stretched of course uh, we refer to them as all-rounders that one there hitting the outside edge and uh, well he did well didn't he really because he was going up oh, oh. watching it staying right back that time and pushing it uh, down into the ground yes Sangakara he's had a good day certainly not the easiest of pitches to keep on and One's played nicely away on the onside into the gap and uh, back for the second. So Mark Boucher, he'll be looking to make amends. He certainly will have to read this pitch a little better. too uh, caught up with a sweep shot there that wasn't quite there for it perhaps he misread it and the leg by signaled he was way outside the line yes Johnny Rhodes has been looking at that area around mid wicket um, it's quite vacant but again they're coming through much slower than what he expected yeah. oh well ball that's nicely played all along the ground into the gap on the onside back for two that's the end of the over 159 for five for the start of play here that this would go through the top it's actually held together quite well sure it's spun a lot but um, that's the way of the wickets in uh, this part of the world that's nicely played down towards the deep mid wicket boundary and uh, what a good oh, wow. How is that? Oh, oh, big shot from uh, everybody around the bat except the bowler. He's got a smile. He knows that the amount of turn he gets, pretty difficult to get a decision. So on this wicket, well outside. I think Can't that make a decision there, Solia. Yeah. I think the, the appeal was really for the factor that he didn't play a shot. Well, he's given him. It was right full on the front foot. Didn't bounce. And he didn't offer a shot. It's the end of Boucher. The early delivery Boucher did not play a sh stroke at all. Padded at that one. And that one may have been the straighter one. We never know. It was hitting and spinning. But not played a shot there by Mark Boucher. That was in the mind of the umpire. He, in his opinion, it would have been hit the wicket. And he's uh, sent Boucher back on his way. Boucher out for seven. South Africa in deep trouble. 163 for six. Well, the new batsman in. The captain, Sean Pollock. 43 matches. Got a good average. Nice scores against Sri Lanka. He hasn't got 100 yet. But uh, he can play. And he's got his work cut out now. Get something out of this test. First delivery to him, a lot of shouting, and that ends the over. 
163 for six. Pollock down the wicket, misses it, and so does Sangakara. Well, he can't expect him to take everything. It really turned a lot. Pollock chancing his arm. But as you said, he was looking to go over the top. He was going to mix the aggression and missing it totally, coming down the track. Really, uh, Kumar Sang uh, getting inside edge as well. So I think I really couldn't blame Kumar Sangakar for that. He knows, had he not got that inside edge, he would have fancied to have had a stumping. <laughs> Pollock once again cuts the straight one, gets a bottom edge, bounce a little bit inconsistent. Moving dangerously is Pollock. End of the over, 166 for six. The last delivery, see it's a straight one, just deviates slightly to the off stump. Pollock gets across, cut, tries to cut it. And you always cut Murli Duran with a little bit of interpretation. You know that it could be the big spinner if you're not reading it. Be so careful. And it's totally against the psyche of when you, um, you're under pressure. And, uh, they've got to get it right for the next test match. That's a lovely shot from Rhodes. Down the wicket, to the pitch. Nicely balanced, finds the gap. Good over for South Africa. 173 for six. Rhodes down the wicket, full toss. He makes it into and puts it away beautifully. That's good cricket, nice and quick down the wicket. Very positive approach by Jonty Rhodes. Straight down the wicket, quickly onto that one, taking it on the full, getting his best one perfect. All the way down to the boundary. Nice yard there for uh, Murali Duran, but Jonty Rhodes quickly onto that one. Now Murali Duran will have to be careful. He's seen that Rhodes runs down the wicket pretty quickly, so. And thrown up nice and high outside the off stump and Pollock's up to it, it's full so he can drive it with a little amount of risk it beautifully, it brings a welcome four for Pollock really nicely onto the front foot there, nice lunge, nice straight follow through really shot nice balance Pollock on nine, Rhodes ticking it along and some nice shots of Muriel did in the last over, he's on 25. Chandana to continue, bowling two roads, he's been sweeping it pretty well. Down the wicket again, as Rhodes finds the gap through Madon, nice and straight. Taking the bowler on once again, Jonty Rhodes. Not afraid to come down the track. Getting it on the full and um, again to between the bowler and the mid on all the way down to the line he's played been very positive out there played some very good sweep shots and on occasions really to come down take the bowler on he's really been playing from this crease it's a good shot from Pollock gives himself room short from Murli Duran Murli Duran is also anticipating that maybe Pollock will look to come down at him he's not going to give him too much air did so just now and uh, Rhodes did it. Oh. Also the fact that Pollock and, the, and Cullinan when they start shuffling across you see him shuffling right across really makes the bowler has to try and make adjustments and when you get getting the bowler to do different things he doesn't fall into a set pattern no rhythm that he can really settle down into and that one a big shot and he's given out and Pollock looks up to the heavens he can't believe it Murali Duran has got number 10 and Daryl Harper makes the decision it's the end of Sean Pollock Sean Pollock not happy at all I really felt that bat was nowhere near that delivery See the ball really come down straight onto the pad, the bat behind the pad. If did it touch a glove on the way up? That's a that's the only thing that the umpire had to think about. That's the only one, but I felt the 
that was way behind. So I really didn't feel I could really say if he touched a glove on the way off. Uh, but Sean Pollock's gone for 12. South Africa deeper in trouble, 193 for seven. So uh, Nicky Boy has joined Chanty Rhodes. 27, age of 27, three matches, high score of 85. Need to get a few runs here. But quite confident in the first right innings. And uh, he's here because Sean Pollock was given out that pad, that really straight on the pad. Only wonder if to get the glove on the way up. Umpire Daryl Harper feeling that he did. Couldn't say from that angle. Harper quite confident about that one. Sean Pollock too, very disappointed. You see the side one gets the pad on there. And on the way up, did he touch the glove? There's a lot of gap there. There's a lot of air between. And Sean Pollock's very unfortunate to be given out there. We have Ravi Shastri joining in the commentary box. No way did that uh, touch the glove. Sean Pollock's gone. Very disappointed. He's doing a good job, job out there with uh, John T. Rhodes. Ravi, along with Ranjit Fernando. Thank you, Salia. Yes, I think Pollock a little unfortunate. There was a noise, but I think the bat hit something rather than the ball touching something. That's a good shot from Rhodes. Good use of his feet, got as close to the pitch of the ball as possible, smothered the spin and hammered it through covers. Oh yes, in adversity, John T. Rhodes, he's been very, very impressive. Once again, um, showing how spin could be played on a pitch like this, getting up to the pitch of uh, Murli Dhan. There's a wide open space up the Texaco region and uh, he's picked it. Floyd it up. Now there's no gully, that's pass slip. And Zoysa will not cut it off. Zoysa, so he's been having a few problems chasing some of those shots around the boundaries, but boy, that would give him uh, some sort of pleasure having a few runs under his belt. That's why you can play these shots. Okay. So road stealing in boundaries at the moment. 209 for seven. Now this is the last ball of the previous over. Enough time for Rhodes to bang that over mid wicket. You can also see that Dalmasen has got hardly any turn and uh, the bounce is also just right. Oh, the top spinner that surprised even Sangakara. Difficult to take these balls, especially when they hit the top of the pads. There is a big deflection. You're too close to it. It's particularly when it comes off the flap and Sangakara, he's been having a rough time. But certainly, straight away in the deep end in his first test match, he's coped well. Now that's Web Square. He plays that shot well. Even though it's against the turn, he backs himself to play the shot. Getting his pad right in front and uh, sweeping along the ground. Now he's got that fine and into the boundary. Played that late, used Jay Surya's pace and kept the ball away from the man at point. Oh, that would have given Boya some joy. Got into nice position and uh, cracked it away. That's his half century. Very well played to Jonty Rhodes. Uh, oh, and there's a misfield down there. Well, uh, every now and again he does it, doesn't he? 
and Yuan Zoysa. And once again, misfielding. So that's well played by Jonty Rhodes. Uh, it's uh, a half century for him. Six fours in that half century, and uh, he's received 88 balls. Trademark shot from Rhodes to bring up his 50. Good sweep, gets over the top of it. It's a good innings from Rhodes. It'll certainly help him. And Nguyen Zoysa, well, he's looking for the handle that's on the shiny side, Nguyen. No, we didn't, and that one runs away. I think it'll be Byers, just turned too much. Byers signaled. All round and uh, the end of the over. 2.41 to 7. This morning, I don't know whether you had a look at uh, the net this morning, Pat, but uh, all those raids on cricketers and... Well, that one's pulled away nicely. That's a good shot. Down towards the boundary, and that's four runs. Lovely shot. That was a bit short. Chandana might be getting just a little bit tired, too. Let's have another look at this shot. He drops it short and to the left-hander. It goes with the spin. So it's an easy put away. Almost killed short leg. I'm sure he'll be having a word with him. Might just keep it pitched up. Gets on top of it, climbs into it, and that brings up the 50 partnership. So it's starting to blossom for South Africa. <laughs> Mathia Murli Ridden deciding to go to the other side of the stumps. Let's see how close he gets here. Oh, he's in about the middle. That's a short delivery. Pulled away down towards midwicket. This is a fast outfield. That'll go for four. Yes, that's not a very good length, and uh, that won't uh, encourage him too much. It's 254 for seven. That's that short delivery from uh, Murali Duran outside off stump. It's, it's, uh, it's the sort of thing that doesn't give him too much confidence. He doesn't bowl many short deliveries, and uh, when, he when he changes something like this, where he goes round the wicket, and then uh, he ends up bowling a short ball, it's the sort of thing that will force him back over the wicket almost immediately. Yes, I think Murali Duran uh, has done his time for now. I think he's getting a bit tired, and there's no doubt that Jay Surya should, uh, in my mind, be looking to bring on one of his seamers. going to be close. Up goes the finger. It seemed that there was an error in judgment here from Nicky Boy. Now what's interesting to see is if this ball would have ended up hitting the stumps because there seemed to be some turn here and I just get the feeling he's unlucky. The mat's not out as yet. The ball was spinning. There was always a doubt that it might have missed off stump but watch where it pitches. Look at the ball if it pitched outside the leg stump. And Nicky Boy is gone. Umpire Peter Manu has decided a very good innings. Out for 35, South Africa 263 for 8. You know an umpire's job isn't easy. He's taken the five wickets in an innings 21 times. Having said that, you have a better chance of watching where the ball pitches when a slow bowler is bowling rather than when a fast bowler because you don't have that much of time. Murli has the loop as well. That's up in the air, but wide of the man there, the short fine leg. Chanti Road rolls on, he's moved on to 60. Got the majority of runs with that sweep shot on that occasion, getting to the top edge, but clear of the fielder. He's one of the better players with spin in this South African side. Adams off the mark. Gently hit there by Paul Adams, a full toss, just killing the placement. South Africa need another 18 runs to make Sri Lanka bat again. So what's Rhodes going to do now? He'll be aware of the fact that he might run out of partners here. So not only will he be trying to farm the strike, but try and score as many runs as possible. Now he's played that into a huge gap on the offside. And he settles for two. He wants to keep the strike. 
in the next uh, cover region open there. Coming down, taking it on the full. Nice placement. It's good effort there by the fielder, drawing it back. Uh, Johnny Rhodes was quite happy just for the uh, two runs, keep the strike there. He's cleaned him up here, looking for the big drive through a big gap on the offside. And in the end, just finding Tenet. The ball sneaks through. South Africa have lost their ninth wicket. Modli Dharan has picked up his 12th. Going to have a big heave at that one, Paul Adams, going right through the gate. And Muthaya Muridharan picks up his sixth wicket. So Adams departs, another wicket for Murli Dharan, 12 in the match, he's out for 2, 2.69 for 9. Thank so Makaya Antini is the last man out there for the South Africans, still 16 runs required. 15 in fact, required for Sri Lanka to bat again. And the last man to go was Paul Adams. Quite an ambitious stroke there. And another one in identical faction. 13 wickets in the match for the champion off spinner. Modli Dharan has finished this innings in a hurry. Wickets of consecutive balls. And Sri Lanka have won this test match by an innings and 15 runs. It's their first victory over the South Africans in test match cricket. And it's come in this fashion. Dragging me on the front foot, ball spinning back, Mutambaran hitting the spot, and the Sri Lankans have won this test match by 15 runs in an innings. Antini getting the a duck, but the feature had been uh, John T. Rhodes, who made a 63, fighting 63. So delighted, Mulitran. Sri Lanka have uh, had it all their way in this test match. They won the toss, decided to bat 522 on the board. They bundled out South Africa for 238 in their first innings and then in the second innings 269 all out. So Sri Lanka win their first test match against South Africa by an innings and 15 runs. And that's how South Africa finished. 269, 55 to Gary Kirsten, the top scorer in the innings, John D. Rhodes. He played well. That would have uh, been good practice for him. Used his feet well, used the sweep shot to good effect, but otherwise uh, no real contributors. I thought Nicky Boy played well for his 35, and he was unfortunate to be given out leg before. And what South Africa needed didn't happen. They needed partnerships. 58 for the first wicket, and then the highest 70 between Rhodes and Boy. So not a single three-figure partnership for them. And that really was the problem. They couldn't really stretch the Sri Lankans. The Sri Lankan bowling, the star, Mutaya Murlidharan. 35 overs, 5 maidens, 7 for 84. Outstanding figures. He was well supported by Upul Chandana. 2 for 88. So that's how the match has ended here. 522 all out Sri Lanka. South Africa in the first innings, 238. In the second innings, 269 all out Sri Lanka, winning by an innings and 15 runs. I'd first like to ask Sean Pollock to come up, please, and collect 15,000 rupees and a silver plaque from the Honorable Prasanna Ranatunga, the Vice President of the Board of Control for Cricket in Sri Lanka. Well, Sean, uh, bad luck, but uh, on the first day itself, once you lost the toss and uh, Sri Lanka had put up that big score on the board, you were in trouble. Yes, once they had got a big score, it was always going to be difficult. Um, I thought they played very well. We were outplayed in this game, and um, we just got to go away, try and think of all the positives that come out of the game, and regroup and, and come back hard in the next test. Now, you've not played test cricket for the last uh, three or four months. It's not easy to combat a turning ball, especially when you have a champion bowler like Murlitharan. Yes, I think he bowls well. Anyone who gets 13 wickets in the test match deserves to win the test match. So 
I thought he bowled nicely and uh, we'll have to try and combat him as I say in the next few tests but we have got things to work on and it, it has been a while since we've played but we're not trying to hide behind anything. Yes, you've got a six day gap now, you guys will have to show a lot of character to bounce back in the series. Well that's what South Africans are usually about, we always try and show character and I know the guys will be back and, and looking to restore a bit of pride in South African cricket when we get out in the field next time around. But from the, for the positives uh, for South Africa, good innings by Cullinan in the first innings and then uh, Rhodes in the second. Yes, I thought they all batted awesomely well um, to come in here and get 100. He does enjoy batting against the Sri Lankans, so hopefully his form continues. And then I thought Jonty played very well. Nicky Boyer played nicely too, and lucky to get out the way he did. Um, but as I say, yeah, those are the positives we can build on. Well, good luck for the next test in Candy, Sean. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So Sean Pollock there, the captain of the South African team. And now I'd like to ask... Uh, Sanat Jayasuriya, please, to come up and collect a cash award of 50,000 rupees from the Honorable Minister, Mr. Mahinda Vijayasekra, the Minister of Forestry and Environment. He'll also get a silver plaque, 50,000 rupees for taking a 1-0 lead in the series. Well, Sanat, uh, the disappointments of Pakistan are behind you now. 1-0 start, that's uh, just what you wanted. Yeah, because uh, we won the one-day series and the players got a lot of confidence after winning the one-day series and they played well here in goal and we got a big score in uh, 522 runs and uh, the bowlers bowled well, Murali and Upul Chandan. Well, everything went to plan. You won the toss, you led from the front with that innings of 148, but did you think you'll uh, get your first win against South Africa that easily? Uh, winning against South Africa is not easy, uh, always tough, but I think uh, all the players have played very hard cricket right throughout and uh, Murali bowled well and Upul Chandana and Mahila got 167 and it helps, uh, it helps us a lot, lot because 520 is a big score and uh, the bowlers bowl well. Now Jay Vardana, he was due for a big score, he has not really done justice to his potential in the past but this is invaluable innings. Yeah, you know, everybody knows Mahila is a very good, talented cricketer and uh, everybody expecting him to get a big score and he did it in goal and everybody is happy and all the team players are happy and uh, we need a big score to win a test match and uh, everybody scored well in this game. Well, and now on Muthaya, you still, it's a turning track, but you still got to be a very good bowler to pick up 13. I think he has, uh, Murli has been one of the best off spinners for me in the world and he bowls superbly in this innings, first innings and the second innings and I think uh, Murli needs a three days rest <laughs> after he bowls so much. Okay, well done Sana today and good luck for the test in Candy. Thank you Ravi. Sana Jayasurya there, the winning captain. Sri Lanka have taken a 1-0 lead in this single test series. And now the man of the match award. I happen to be the adjudicator and my job was pretty simple. Some good performances in this game, but I can al already see the wide eyes of Murlidharan looking at me. Well, he's my man of the match. Mutaya Murlidharan, the man of the match. 15,000 rupees for him. And he'll collect the award from Mr. Vasanta Vijayamane. Well, Murli, you've taken 16 wickets in a test match. This is the fourth time you've taken uh, 10 wickets uh, in an innings. 13, excellent. Yeah, I'm very happy I took 13 wickets and uh, main thing is uh, we got 522 runs, then he, very easy to bowl after that. Now, how difficult is it to really bowl on a turning track because you're a big spinner of the ball, you've got to really adjust the amount you can turn the ball and what line you bowl, but you're used to it. Yeah, because you have to main, mainly you have to bowl line and length uh, because uh, if you don't bowl line and length then you have to put pr pressure on batsmen. I think I did that. Now, as a spinner, how important uh, a role does patience play? Uh, yeah, you have to be very patient because uh, if you try to attack uh, every time, then you go for runs, then uh, automatically batsman will get set. So I think you have to be patient game. Now, this delivery of yours, the top spinner, which uh, you yourself say that you worked very hard on. You took almost a year and a half to really ah! practice it and bowl it. But on this track, you got it to go away from the right-hander too. Yeah, because uh, it's a spinning uh, wicket and it's very slow because I think if he had more bounce, I would have taken more wickets yeah! on straight balls. Now, we know that you enjoy getting a batsman out, especially through the gate, making him drive through the offside. Which wicket gave you the most enjoyment here? Every wicket. <laughs> You're a greedy man, aren't you? <laughs> Every wicket? Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck for the next test match. It's in your hometown, Candy. Okay, thanks, thanks. Mutaya Murlidharan there, the man of the match.
tremendous performance, 13 wickets for 171 runs. That's the fourth time he's taken 10 or more wickets in an innings. And now there's a special award here today. It's for Arjuna Ranatunga. He's announced his retirement at the end of the series. But uh, this is his last test match in goal. And there's a special trophy given to him here by Jayanda Varnavira, the, the chief of uh, the ground here at goal. Arjuna Ranatunga, a special hand for him for his last test match here. It's an appreciation for his invaluable service for Sri Lankan cricket. A very senior player. And a good award for him. Well, that I'm afraid is all from the presentation area. We hope you've enjoyed the entertainment over the last uh, three and a half days of cricket. We look forward to your company again in six days' time, the second test match of the Singer Series. That will be in Kandy on the 30th. Until then, from all of us here in Gaul, it's goodbye.